yo, yo. Oh, good evening, everybody. Welcome in to this show. How y'all doing? What's up, Recursion from Server 8? How you doing? Lord of Scarin, Louis P. Swagger. Bree, Bree Witch. Let's go. What's up, Bree, Bree Witch Chef? I'm trying to say your name right. Yo, what's up, Carl, sir? Paulo, our Chef Bel Air, Sage, Pallium, Jules Verne. What's up, my man? Spectre, Kimmon, USS Contradiction, Mimi, oh, Brew It Chef. That makes sense. Brew It Chef. Yo, what's up, everybody? Hey, what's up, Crash? Mimi, Sir Taco, Kill First. Howdy, 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 ho. Aw, G-Shucks, thank you so much. I love you, too. Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome into the show. My name is Ultimate DJs. Hi, how are ya? Welcome in. Ooh, USS Contradiction with the 12-month resub. Yo, yo, and a hearty yo to my favorite feline 09. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. Stratalorian with the hydrate. I shall do that now. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you. Uh, Spectre says, glad your voice is doing better. Yes, I am recovering. Uh, I, I feel like I probably have recovered. Now, you know, if I talk for four and a half hours, then we'll see if it holds up. We'll see if it holds up, but we're going to give it a go here tonight anyway. Uh, Lord Hollywood, thank you. Good evening from California and server 75. Kill First says, oh, yeah, I literally just started it. I just started it. Kill First says, best exocomp ATA ever. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one right here. 60% building efficiency. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a good one. I'm very, very, uh, I like that one a lot. That's a good one. Yo, Dragon Keeper. Yo, yo, yo. The cat is live. What's up, Daddy Dave? How you doing? Welcome in, Daddy Dave. Oh, Louis P. Yo, Chloe P. What you doing? Is it, is it almost bedtime? Aren't you like West Coast? Isn't isn't it too early? Tell your daddy it's too early to go to bed. It's too early to go to bed. <laughs> yes, Mimi, I'll tell you why. Yo, Casey Jones, thank you for dropping a gifted sub into the chat. I appreciate that very much. Jules Verne with the 13-month prime resub. Thank you very much. Kill first for the 14 months. Thank you so very much. And you guys just started a hype train. Look at you. All right. You know what? In fairness, Louis P, Central Time, that would put it at about 8.15, and that's that's good. I put Oliver to bed at 8.30, my time as well. So, Chloe, that must mean you got about 15 minutes. However, yo, thank you, Betty Hill and Iron Chef. Thank you guys for your kitty bitties. Daddy Dave, thank you for following the channel. Appreciate you, uh, appreciate you being here. Thanks for following the channel. Um... Chloe, here's the deal. If you're anything like all of our DJs, then I have to put, like, I get it. Louis P's got to put you down 30 minutes early because he will find a million and one reasons to stall. So I start putting him to bed at 8 o'clock with the hope of getting him in bed by 8.30. And even tonight, it was still like 8.45. Maybe 8.40. I mean, the dude just stalls like a champ. He stalls like a champ. Oh, Daddy, I'm thirsty. Oh, Daddy, I need a snack. Dude, you just ate dinner like 45 minutes ago. Um, I'm hungry. Daddy, I need fruit by the foot. Daddy, I need, I need gushers. All right, all right, I'm ready to go to bed. Oh, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, Daddy. All right, I'm ready for bed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got I to gotta go to the bathroom. I got to pee. 
Daddy, where's Stitch? Where's my Stitch? He's got a big, ginormous stuffed Stitch. Where's Stitch? Where's my blankie? I need my Baby Yoda blankie. Daddy! It's too hot in here. Will you turn on the fan? Will you turn on the fan, Daddy? It's too hot. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's how it goes. Seriously, 30, 45 minutes. That's... <laughs> Oh, uh, there you go. Uh, Mike from Chicago. Oh, Mike is not feeling it. He says, hoping for a better arc next month. You know, I was talking about this on the pod yesterday, Mike. I understand that the feature is not what everybody really wants, but you know, the arc runner himself actually did a pretty phenomenal job this month. I'm pretty happy with the arc runner in a, in a lot of ways. Yeah, this, this arc, we've seen a lot worse, Mike. I'm pretty happy with this arc. I'm pretty happy with this arc, at least from the arc runner's perspective. The feature, there's some complication there, but the arc runner did a pretty good job. Um, Airport Andy, thank you for your 12-month resub. Appreciate that. Oh, Glevy, thank you for your 7-month resub. And, guys, just like that, we got a minute and 45 seconds on the clock, 64% through a level 2 hype train. I'd like to see uh, I'd like to see that get extended tonight. Voodoo Doctor says, did you get an AC unit for your studio? No. I did not. So it is still sweltering hot out here. I am burning up. I mean, seriously, I'm 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 just dying right now. It's so hot. Kilfer says, you know, Arc Runner did a pretty good job, but the mission rollout was not good. Yeah, I can see that. I can see the mission rollout kind of messing with some people. I I like doing them all at once because I like to read the story. So I can see some people not digging that like that's a thing i get it yo louis p <coughs> thank you louis p dropping five gifted in the chat and finishing level two oc day oci day break yo thank you for dropping a gifted sub into the chat i appreciate you very much thank you i know specter i need to get what i was gonna get was one of those little um cubes like a walmart or something like that i wanted to get one of those little cube things and just set it up right here that's what i want i am so positive i'm full of positive energy hey thanks i got your positive energy too here stony dude what's up my man what you doing stony dude with all your positive energy what you i love all the positive energy thank you very much i appreciate it mimi says <laughs> mimi says no that's why facetime is very very strict so i can enjoy being undressed that's that's what i actually need to be is undressed i am wearing clothing right now because i figured you guys were going to turn on the facetime but i'm telling you it's burning up in here Whew, it's hot um Baby Yaga says, yo, am I too late to join the litter box? No, never. Never too late to join the litter box. What's up, man? And Vanadia, thank you for your 12-month resub. A full year of nerdy math. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. White Wolf. Hi, DJ. Oh, well, hello to you, White Wolf. Thank you for your 14-month resub. And just like that, you guys finish up the level three. Yo, what's up, Salty Medic? Yo, thank you for your sub to the channel. Welcome to the litter box. My name is DJ. We're going to do a little bit of nerd stuff tonight. And uh, thank you for your sub. 12% now into a level four with a, a, a fresh clock. Four minutes on the timer. Thank you. Um, let's see. What else we got up here? Stradalorian says, wait, we had an arc this month? Yes. Yes, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more this month than I have in a while just because I decided to play like play play and not it was not a d arc and vanadia you guys you guys are so grumpy you're so grumpy i like the arc this month again don't get the arc necessarily super twisty with the feature 
All right, I know the feature's complicated, but, but, but. I think the Ark Runner did a fantastic. Oh, no! My mud is tied up. I'm going to have to finish this one up here. Right? Isn't this one the one the mud's in? Yep. All right, let's knock that out. Let's go, hype. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> I'm very excited about that. That's one of my favorite assignments. Yes! <laughs> oh, yes. You know what? That is, that's one of my favorite assignments. I, I have to, you know what? Thank you, RNG. I got to give you applause for that one. Thank you. I do. I like that one a lot. Yo, what's up, uh, Trader? How you doing? Good evening. Welcome. How you doing? I'm Trader. doing good. How about you? I'm wonderful. Trader just tried to sneak in on us. Did you see that? She didn't even. She didn't even announce her presence. She just snuck in. That's the best way to do it. Absolutely, just, like, it sneak is. Sneak up behind someone and go. Wah! Yeah, just just bite their head off, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Could biting you, people's you heads off tonight. DJs. Yes. Did you? I don't know idea what you did, what you're doing right now. But did you tell everybody no. about cookies? I have not yet. Oh I have not yet. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I was waiting for you to show up, and we're gonna do that. That's why I make the joke about biting somebody's head off. <laughs> 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 yeah, we got uh, we got that to do. Uh, we got that tonight. So we're gonna do that here in just a couple of minutes. Now that she's here. Hey, Louis P. Louis P. First of all, I have to ask your permission to share some images. If you don't want, it's okay, because I understand that that I believe, Trader, I have a I have a photograph of Chloe P. Is that what I've got? I've yes. got a, I've got a photograph yes. of Chloe P. So if you don't want oh, he says approved. Okay. Very good. Well, let me collect this amazing away team's assignment. Uh and let me also remind you guys, we got 40 seconds left, 51% through a level four hype train. Uh, so if you guys want to kick that into high gear, I'd Oh my god, I got it again. Oh, snap! Oh, boy, what do we do? Decisions, decisions. I know kill first, and it's got another one. That's because of the hype train. That's because of the hype train. Let's keep it going. I'll do all criticals. All criticals. Let's go. Let's go. So let's positive. go. I'm full of positive energy. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to do it. Here, let's get a data critical. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I am so positive. I'm Ooh. full of positive. Very irresponsible scribbler. We are being very, I, very responsible. Listen, I've got a good set of assignments, Trader. I just got 12 data shards. Now I've got that Alliance Exocomp. All right, let's do this one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Let's throw that one up there. Okay. Okay, okay. Here we go. Whew. 72 hours. Bam! <laughs> yeah! What? What? Oh, snap! Wow. That's a big one right there. That's nice. aggressively large. Woo. Woo. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm a big fan of that EXO. That's a great EXO! I love it. Oh, that's a great one. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. What do we got going on in here? You guys are going crazy. What's happening? What's happening here? Okay, let me see if I can get caught up. Traitor. Okay. Oh, my what? gosh. I'm really behind. Okay. All right. Let's go back. Salty Medic resubbed uh, subbed, and followed the channel. Thank you, Salty Medic. I appreciate you. Welcome to the litter box. Then Captain Zlog came in and renewed his nine-month subscribe anniversary. Thank you, Captain Zlog. Appreciate you. What's up? Then Artemis comes in, Trader, and mm -hmm. resubs 
a tier two resub. 10 oh. months in a row. 10 months in a row. Thank you, Artemis. Then, then Trader comes in in typical Trader fashion and drops 20 gifted subs into the chat. 20. Woo! Woo! Oh, I, had to the height. I don't want to get left behind here. Oh, my, 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 my. my. 20 gifted subs into the chat. Then, then Freelancer. <laughs> Then Freelancer comes in and drops 600 kitty bitties. Thank you, Freelancer. Thank you so much for your 600 kitty bitties. Then Preacher says, yo, DJ, take a drink. You're really, you're starting to sweat through the microphone. I agree. Thank you. Thank you, Preacher, for your hydrate. That was yummy and delicious. Then, then Trader. Then Trader comes back with another 10,000 kitty bitties. Holy smokes. Trader, thank you so very much. That's very kind of you. Then, then Chris comes in. Chris resubs for nine months with Amazon Prime. Trader drops another gifted sub to Stradalorian. White Wolf asked me to change my hat and then beam me up, says, yo, not. Don't forget about me, DJ. Today is my 12-month subscriber anniversary. Happy birthday to you. Ooh. Beam me up. Thank you very much. And just like that, community, you are now two and a half minutes remaining 73% through a level seven hype train. Level seven. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue spending away team's assignment speed ups until the end of the hype train. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to spend speed ups till the end of the hype train. Let's get it on. All right. We got Romulan it's credits. I'm gonna do it. Wait, you're gonna what? You're gonna change my hat? White Wolf says Trader can pick as a gift for me. Oh, you're oh, so sweet, White Wolf. That's nice. All right, what hat do you want? Uh, I am all in favor of the giant mohawk. Giant mohawk. All right, that would be Party Cat. Yeah. You're There's... gonna be irresponsible. Be irresponsible in style. All right, let's do it. Let's spend those speed ups. Let's go. <laughs> yeah! I mean, when you're on a roll, you'll just keep going. That's right. You just got to keep going with it. Oh, my God. There's another data assignment. <laughs> Woo! Mwah. Mwah. You're the best. Mwah. Give me hugs and kisses. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh man. I thought <laughs> Trader. I thought yeah. I thought the hype train was getting ready to end. I'm like, okay. I can stop spending ATA speed ups. <laughs> and then Trader drops 10 more community gifted subs, which finishes level seven, resets the clock. And now we got four and a half minutes, 18% into a level eight, which means now I have to spend more weight teams to summon speed ups. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's Kirk? I need Kirk. Yo. Oh, he's on another assignment. We're going to have to speed that one up. Where are you? He's on this one. Okay, let's speed that up. Uh, yo, Papa Smurf, thank you for your 13-month resub. Appreciate it. Uh, Trader dropping more gifted subs. After the 10, then drops another one to M. Lala and another one to Putz. Papa Smurf resub in 13 minutes with Amazon Prime and now 30% through a level 8. You guys are crazy tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Woo, Mimi, thank you. 
uh, for you uh, being here 10 months in a row. And Trader just dropped a gifted sub to you. Well, that was very sweet of you. Thank you, Trader. Appreciate I am you. appalled at the number of unsubscribed people in chat right now. Oh, my goodness gracious. Guys, it's $4.99. Click the button. And you know what else, Trader? You know what else, Trader? Mm. If they subscribe, if they click the button for $4.99, it if you have your, your Discord linked over here in Twitch, it yep. will actually automatically go back into Discord and turn your name gold in our Discord. It'll do it automatically. You don't have to do anything. All you got to do is link the accounts. So, guys, press the button, $4.99, and then you go back into Discord, and your name will magically be gold. Look at that. Magic gold. It will be beautiful. Gold. Magic gold. It won't gold. be as beautiful as the pink that my name is, but it will still be beautiful. That's true. That's true. There is some beauty in that. That's right, says Louis P. Gold is fancy. It's fancy. Do it. Devil Panda, thank you for your 12-month resub. Appreciate you very much. Thank you. Trader gifting another sub to Victor and to Baby Yaga. Mingus, thank you for following the channel. Appreciate you. Welcome to the litter box. My name is DJ, and you're here for a hot and sweaty party night. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Indominus Prime, thank you for your 14-month resub. Thank you very much. Benny Hill, picking up a gifted sub from Trader. And uh, Indominus Prime dropping another 100 kitty bitties. Shorts here uh, picking up a complimentary sub from Trader. Boy, there's a lot of thank you notes here tonight. A lot of thank you notes going to need to be written here tonight, Trader. No thank you notes necessary. Lots of thank you notes, we just community. The, we just want the hype emote. You want, yes, you want the big hype emote. All right, we got it. Yes. More hype. Uh, two minutes on the clock, 62% through a level eight. And uh, I'm going to continue to spend speed ups. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. So, so White Wolf, you go into uh, go into Discord, and if you go down into the settings for your account, uh, there is a tab called Connections, and you connect your um, you connect your Twitch profile there. And then it will link to link into DJ Discord. I've got a problem. I don't mm -hmm. have any, I don't have any more. Pie. Yo, what's up? What's this, Trader? Uh, let's see. You gifted one to Falcon. Then Shady Pines comes in with another five gifted. And Mingus, Mingus, thank you, buddy. Mingus, brand new to the channel. Literally just started following tonight. Mingus, thank you for coming so in awesome. and dropping a gifted sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, 45 seconds on the clock. 85% through a level eight. We are almost there. But I'm out of assignments, so if you guys want to stop, that's fair. I get it. I don't have any more assignments that I can spend on. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold it against you if you decide to let the hype train end. Uh Blaze, thank you for your 12-month subscribe anniversary. Thank you. Gabe is days, hook it up with a complimentary gift sub from Trader. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. You guys are the bomb. Spectre says, let's build a Sanctus. No. But I could be convinced ah. to... Ah, Papa Smurf, thank you. Papa Smurf dropping 200 kitty bitties into the chat. <laughs> and Trader dropping another 10 gifted. Oh, my goodness gracious. Another 10 gifted, which means the clock gets reset. So, you know what? You know what? Let's continue our irresponsibility. Let's continue the irresponsibility, Trader. I don't have any Let's more. Do. I don't have any more assignments to do. But you know what I will do? What? I will build a tribune right now. I think. Ooh. I think I, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Let's do some quick math. Let's see. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's... To Derridix tonight, Savage is Savage Darkness wants yeah, to that's max like a... out all of your credit cards. Uh, yeah, no, I do not have eight Novas yet, but I do, I think, I think I have enough to build a tribute tonight. Let's see if we've, let's see if we've got it. Let's check it out. I think I've been working on this. I think we might be able to do it. I've got three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. So let me see if I can do this math real quick, Trader. And if we can, then, uh, we'll build the Tribune 
while we got the hype train going on because, you know, all the hype. Okay, 336 credits is what I need. It cost 1,600 per, I mean, uh, how many blueprints? 1,600 blueprints minus 357, 700. <laughs> 179, That's 900 RG, times 50.
Walrus Juice. I love that name. Thank you, Walrus Juice, for being in our audience tonight. Trader hooking you up with complimentary gift subs. Also, Dahagus uh, hooking up with a gift sub from Trader. Indominus Prime and Papa Smurf, each with 200 kitty bitties. And that wraps up our list. Thank you guys so very much. What an incredible way to start my night. Thank you. Whew. All right, Trader. This yes. feels like an appropriate soundtrack to witness the birth of a brand new Tribune. Mm -hmm. Would you guys care to see this sexy beauty escape from the womb that is my shipyard and escape into the world that is cold and open space? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Trader's like, I have never been so excited to witness a trippy birth. <laughs> it's it's probably more pleasurable than actually witnessing childbirth. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, having watched that video in health class, I can say yes. I think I've got enough speed ups. I do. I'm good on speed ups. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you. What are we going to call this thing? We got to call it something. Remember, Bull, Bull called his the Tribble. Remember? The Tribble. Mm. What are we going to call this? We got to call it something cool. Quick, we got 12 seconds. I don't know. You could call it the Titan. The Titan? Mm. No. Should we call it George? George? You, want call it, yeah. you want to call it George? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you my newest creation this is george aka the talking tribune oh it's so pretty i love big and right there that's impressively large oh it's so huge! Oh! Oh! Jules has a great name, the ultimate tribute. I thought big and right there, ultimate but that's tribute. impressively large. so positive and full of positive energy. Oh, look at it, Trader. It's staring right at you. It, it says, is. it says, yo. Bring it on. Hey, who did we, who did we, hey, somebody in 15, who did we have an incursion, an incursions? Who do we have? Who has server 15? I don't remember who, who, Server 32. You know what it says right there, Trader? Look at that tribute. It says, yo, Server 32. I will love him and squeeze him and call him George. In the words of the infamous Bubba Joe, Server 32, you're going down. Oh, man, that excites me. That excites me. Galvanox says, how many tiers are you going to do today? Um, I will... I will do the tiers that don't cost common. Now, let me come back and look here. I believe there is a double ship event right now. Is that... Uh, am I correct in that? I believe... <laughs> let's see. I think there's a double ship. Double ship, you double know, ship. though, DJ's yeah, White yeah, Wolf yeah, is yeah. right. Yep, yep, zero, yep. zero tiers because you have no more lap. <laughs> I might have the stuff. Let's find out. Let's see. Let's see how much we can do. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how much we can do. All right. Uh, warp engines. Okay. No problem. I can do that. Trader, the heavy phaser cannon. Yup. Do it. The Type 5 Disruptor Cannon. 
Check. Arm the photon torpedoes. Check. Armor. Do it. Upgrade the shields. Give me impulse engines. The trivia absolutely needs to know. <laughs> yes. It, it, you know, funny enough, impulse engines have nothing to do with the speed of the ship. Nothing. Upgrading the impulse engines does not make the ship faster. Isn't that dumb? So dumb. That is dumb. Computer! Execute tier two upgrade! <laughs> Go farther! Wardot, damn it! I am trying to do, like, really big hype stuff. Why? <laughs> Why would you come and kill my base? Wardot! Damn it! Because it was there. Because it was there. Bubba. What's up, Bubba? What you doing, Bubba Joe? All right. I got the bubble. I got the bubble. Now. Oh, he killed it. Now I got to yes, repair did. Now I got to repair it. Got the uh, first scratch from the paint. Yeah, I didn't even get to finish upgrading it, and you already scratched Tabby it. Tabby Tribune. Tabby Tribune. Tabby Tribune. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Papa Smurf. All right, let's continue the madness. Man, it's already taking uncommon here at Tier 2. Oh. Just wait until, uh, well, you already got your G5 ship, so. Yeah, yeah. They start yeah. taking uncommon right away. Yeah, Tier 1. Um, you know what? Let's see. Let's see. I might be I might be convinced to finish Tier 3 or finish Tier 2. Let me see where I'm at on the ship event. If, uh, if I'm already done with the ship event, I might just stop. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Stopping at tier two for a Tribune is dumb. Well, lucky for saying. you. Lucky for you. I still need 7,700 more points. So I guess we got to spend more parts. <laughs> oh, let's do more. So let's just do that. And we'll click that. And then we'll do this. Oops. My finger slipped and we did that. And we'll click that right there. Oh. This is terrible music for what you're doing right now. I know. This is awful. Skip track. Give me a... Ooh, better. God. You know... I really feel like I should do another tier. No. Yeah, I think I better hold off right here. That's a lot of mats. <laughs> but you should level it up to level 15. Oh, well, I probably don't have the lat for that, but let's try. Let's see. You have do... 200, 20K lat left, DJs. You don't I know. have the lat for it. I might. Oh, it's going to be close. No, it's not. It's going to be close. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was very close. All right. Well, I mean, I need a little bit of latinum. DJ. What is wrong with you? you know, Everything is wrong with me, Beck! Everything! <laughs> what, 
Baba? No, you have not. That's how you get left. What? What? Wait, what? What did you say? I told you to spend your multi basics. I'm getting ready to. Which one, Bubba Joe? Which one do I do? Well, I think me or personally, team. I think using any, using multi basics on anything but ship packs is a waste. See, I like him on Syndicate XP. I stand by what I said. <laughs> <laughs> It is good parts. All right, let's just do. It's let's good just do parts, one. It's yeah. good mats. It's good titanium. Let's do one right there, and uh, let's come back in. We'll see if we got enough to do our last two levels. All right, good to go there. Oh yeah, we got plenty. All right, there we go. Boom, level fifteen, tier three, Tribby. Woo! Man, I am I am dripping in sweat now. Oh my god! Now check out your uh, ship ability. Uh, okay. As long as the opponent is burning at the start of a round, tribute increases the number of shots by each weapon by two for this round, and then of course we get to add strike team on top of that. So yeah, Cold Bane, I've been waiting for this for a while. I finally did it, but I literally look. I literally. Spent everything. I spent everything. Every every tier divisible by three, once you level it up, is going to increase that number by one. I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, look how freaking that massive. That is strangely it. specific, Bubba Joe. Every tier divisible by three. Well, it doesn't go by the tier. It goes by the level of the ship. But you yeah. have to have it to the divisible by three tiers. So three, six, nine, and 12. Mm -hmm. That's true. I do still have money in my bank account, so I haven't spent everything. What I meant to say was I spent every bit of game currency that I had. I spent all of my latinum. All of it. I literally just had to spend 1,500 multiphasics for latinum to finish what I needed to do mm -hmm. here. Um, but... I now have my Corvus, and now I also have my Tribune, which shiny. was which Very was shiny. that was the goal. That's what I wanted. Woo, woo, yo Duval! Thank you for your five gifted subs. Bring it back, bring it back. Thank bring you, Zandies, for spending your toy mice for a name change. I modified it slightly. <laughs> he wanted me to change my name to DJ's Tribby. I changed the trader to Yes! Of the <laughs> Going where my heart will take oh, me. Oh, it's amazing. I've got faith. <laughs> I've got faith. Faith of the heart. Thank you, Duval. I appreciate it very much. Uh, I modified no it slightly. One else does. <laughs> we all do. I modified it slightly, Zandies, to meet my Tribby. Oh. Dude, let me just tell you something. Pretzel is on their music game tonight. I am digging this playlist tonight. Oh, it feels good. It's like they, they just added new music or something, Trader. It feels great. Feels good. All right. Now, I'm sure that we've wasted too much time because now it's 9 o'clock Central Time. And Trader Chloe P. Chloe P., had a bedtime of 8.30. So yep. I I may have missed her. I hope I did not. I'm sorry if I did. Um, Yeah, it's 10 o'clock Eastern, which is 9 o'clock Central. Okay? And, um, but I did want to send a shout out to our friends, Louis P and Chloe P. Because Trader, this is really cool. All right, this is super cool that the community here has grown as close as we have. It started 
just a couple of months ago. I get I say started, but not really, right? People have been people have been exchanging and meeting and doing things within this community for months, years even. But two months ago, we all got together for the very first time, and it kind of kickstarted. Uh, at least that I knew of, it kind of kickstarted a new closeness amongst our community. While we were in Los Angeles, uh, we had several of you guys, including Louis P, send us gifts uh, to Los Angeles, like candies. Uh, Iron Chef sent us those amazing chocolates. Oh, yeah, they were good. They were so good. And Trader, from what I understand, this past weekend, you visited another member of the Talking Trek community. Is that correct? I did. Trader traveled to the central portion of the United States of America to meet this beautiful young lady who had some very special cookies made for us, didn't she, Trader? She did. She had some very special cookies made for us, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chloe P. How freaking precious is she? Yes. Look how freaking adorable she is. And she had some special cookies made for us, Trader. Yes, uh, she did. The message says, uh, from Chloe, hi, Mr. Cat Guy. Oh, isn't it cute? Yes. She had she had all kinds of cookies made uh, for us. As a matter of fact, uh, Trader, I understand that she also wanted you to send me another one uh, that had such dark frosting on it yes. that it, it stained her mouth. Right. So yes, it we've did. we've got this one right here. She ate an Enterprise cookie, and the icing stained her tongue. How beautiful! I know. I cannot believe Duval that this innocent, cute little girl would actually give Trader weed cookies. All right, I am I am shocked about it. All right, uh, but yes, so then Trader, of course, had to jump in on the action. And this is why I joke, this is why I joke a little bit ago about Trader biting my head off because she was late <laughs> because she quite literally bit my freaking head off. All right, Trader, gosh darn it. <laughs> <laughs> bit my freaking head off uh but yeah <laughs> shout out no they were not forgotten sec uh but no shout out to louis p and chloe p absolutely beautiful and amazing and you guys absolutely made my weekend thank you so very much and and what was what's incredible about that is that trader my understanding is they welcomed you into their home like you went to the to the Louis P household and you had dinner with his family, right? Uh we didn't go to his house. I had dinner with his family, yes. Uh, okay. All right. Well, you know, listen, stranger danger and all that stuff, you know, that's fine. Uh That's <laughs> no, true. Uh but Louis no, is mean, very very sketchy. Very yeah, sketchy. Very I mean seriously. Clearly. Look at the, look at this face. Okay? This screams sus bucket to me. All right. Yes. Right here. Yes. This screams here. Do not turn your back on me, not for one second. All right. And, and by so the way, I, posted, I am not even kidding about that. All right. <laughs> posted, yeah, right. I posted in the general chat the a picture of the cookies before they got eaten and mauled. Oh, you've got, where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh, here they are. Oh, this is cute. Look at all of these. So there's a Boimler one. Yeah. Does, does Boimler is that just a reflection, or does Boimler have a, a lightsaber no, coming out of his ear? No, that's a reflection. Okay, <laughs> Trader, we know you like your lightsabers. That's okay, right. uh, but look here, look. There's the United Federation of Planets symbol, and yep. then the Enterprise in space. Boimler, Mister DJ Cat Guy. Yep. I mean, how awesome! He loves you and the unicorns. She wanted to make oh. sure that I told you that. <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. She's so amazing. That is just she amazing. Is a sweetheart. Look, yeah. And by the way, Louis, Louis P, seriously, like, 
She's plotting. She's plotting something. Okay? <laughs> I mean, just, just look at her. She's got plans. Okay? And you don't know what they are. Just throwing that out. Throwing that out there, right? Yeah. She planted something. I'm just saying. Chloe P., I'm sure you're in bed. I hope that your daddy shows you this tomorrow. But thank you so very much for uh, being so sweet and so kind to my friends. And thank you for the amazing cookies. They look absolutely incredible. As a matter of fact, Louis P., I, 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 I don't know how much involvement there could have been in Chloe P. preparing these cookies. But I just want, Chloe, I want you to know right now that I want to buy a box of these from you. Okay? I don't care where you get them from. I don't care if you have to go down to the bakery and you pick them up yourself, whatever. I'm going to buy them from you. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're the only person in the world that can supply me with Mr. DJ Cat Guy cookies. And I I want them. So if you would be so kind to to coordinate with your daddy and uh, and I will, I want to buy some cookies off of you. And thank you for being so sweet and so kind to my friends. Trader, you had a good time? I did. I did. I had the best time. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, Louis P., uh, thank you so very much for, for inviting us into your home. And uh, this this is just the most precious thing I've ever seen. She is so cute. All right, uh, Trader, we have yeah. a, we got a couple of things that I want to I want to do here tonight. Uh, as the show uh, description indicated, I would like to um, I would like to explore a little bit more with this Voyager thing now. Now, as I mentioned on the show yesterday. I don't know if you're caught up yet. Um, Valiant says, wait, what? You want me to do a giveaway of cookies? Uh, okay, Louis P., is that possible? Can we do a giveaway with the cookies? Like, is, is it? can you legitimately get more of those? If you can get more of those, then Trader, we will give away, we'll give away a dozen of those cookies tonight. Oh wait, Louis P. How Louis P. How much are those daggone cookies? Like, let, let's just let's just wait a second. Uh, hold, uh, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Um, we we might have a problem if if somebody from like Germany wins it. It's gonna end up costing like seventy thousand dollars to get it there. Remember the whole? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So so and there'll be sale. Yeah. Oh, Galvanox says it's okay. Echo said he'd pay $150 a head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's laughing because she knows that story too. Did you listen to the podcast yesterday? I did not listen to the podcast yesterday, but I was with you. I know. What I know. Happened? Well, I know. I know you were, but yesterday, like, Bubba decided to 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 hash it all up. To and... out you. <laughs> to oh. out... He outed me on the fact that I'm the reason that everybody's packs just got an increase, uh, yep. because because 100%. I, I spent three thousand dollars of Scopely's money on one meal. All right. Uh, in other words, trader, I kind of joked that yes, in fact, I out Scopely Scopely. All right, and spent three thousand dollars on one dinner uh, for my my team and the live ops team. I don't regret it for a second, though, by the way, just FYI. It was a phenomenal time. We had a great time. It was good fellowship, and uh, lots of productive things occurred there. Correct, Bubba Joe? Back me up here. Uh, I will back you up. Lots of productive things happened, uh, including, including this amazing Voyager loop that you see here. Bubba Joe wrote it. That's not true. Bubba Joe yes. designed the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> he um, built it all. Yo, what's up, Go Wares? Uh, Go Wares, thank you for following the channel. Appreciate you. Hoggy what, style. What's the, line, uh, what's the line from Talladega Nights? Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> yeah, don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Um, that is, uh, that's not Talladega Nights, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess it, it is. Yeah, yeah it I think is. it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, Benny Hill says, I'm the reason Tom Paris was pay-only. Maybe. I doubt it. They've always had a pay-only rare officer. Always, always. Um, Alan, thank you for your 13-month resub. Appreciate that. Hoggy style, thank you for your nine-month resub. And go wares. thank you. Welcome to the litter box. 
Uh, Shadowed Fox, thank you for your hydrate. I'm out of water. I'm going to have to refill. Refill my bottle. It is stinking hot in here. Oh, my dear Lord in heaven. I'm going to have to get I'm going to have to get some air conditioning in here, man. Woo. Yeah. I don't remember it being this hot last summer. Of course, I didn't have a computer that ran at 96 degrees either. The the normal Hey, Specter. What it, what what do you remember? Specter, I'm pretty sure I what was it? It wasn't 96. Surely it, it wasn't like 96 Celsius. 96 Fahrenheit, right? Yeah, it have to be. This computer, the CPU runs at an optimum temperature, Trader, which means it can get hotter. But I'm pretty sure Spectre would have to tell me. I don't remember. Spectre helped me build it. But I'm pretty sure this thing runs at like a routine temperature of about 100 degrees. Holy smokes. Okay, so it's not 96 degrees Celsius because... My PC is not boiling. Oh, God. It's hot. It's hot. Uh, no. 95 Celsius is the standard operating temperature. Are you sure it's Celsius and not Fahrenheit? Are you sure, Spectre? Because 95 Celsius is the standard operating temperature? I actually thought it was closer to... Yeah, it's 75 Celsius. to 80, but yeah. yeah. Holy, no wonder it's so freaking hot in here. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Are you serious? This thing is running. This thing is running at boiling temperature. Why do you think you need a cooler on your CPU? I mean, my God. He never considered that, DJ. That's what. Yeah, just get a get a mini split, DJ. Get a what? Get a mini split. A mini split. What is a mini split? Google it. Okay. Mini split. Yes. Oh, just like like one of these little uh like little yeah. yeah I gotta have a window for that. No, you don't. Just drill a hole in the side of the building. It's cinder block! Yeah, you can still drill a hole on the side of the building. What do I do in the winter time? You You oh, don't run geez. it. You cover it. Then there's a hole! And no, the you, wall! It's, it's, it's permanent. It stays in the Oh my god. Are you yes. kidding me right now? Are you're serious right now? This thing. Yes! This, no, no, okay, yeah, the air conditioner. It can heat and cool. All right, it can I, heat and cool, and you leave it permanently installed on the wall. You really? I you just... Oh, I literally just remodeled this studio. Like, there's beautiful drywall Zandies up there. Zandies is right. You need a three-inch hole. A three-inch hole, DJs. There's jokes that I can make that I'm not going to make because this is a family-friendly show. I was considering those jokes as well. I decided <laughs> against it. <laughs> All right, hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna demonstrate some some true miseducation. Uh, I because I I gotta I gotta figure this out. So 95, this holy god! No wonder, no freaking wonder! It's so hot in here. Oh my god! Are you guys serious right now? You're lying to me. This computer is putting off is putting off air at 203. Oh my dear God in heaven! So I mean, it, it may not be. You did put a good water cooler in there, so the water is boiling, Specter. <laughs> <laughs> it's boiling. It's, not, it's it's technically not water, though. It's actually a cooling solution that's built into the actual. Even though it's called a water cooler, it's 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 yeah, it's okay. it's, its own special but special. I know. Cooling solution. I know nothing about computers, <laughs> but even I know that there's a reason server rooms have like their own like dedicated air conditioning and they're oh, ice yeah. freaking cold. Absolutely, oh, uh, you cannot do without air conditioning. I mean, 
even with the even with the amazing water cooler we put in that thing, it, it is going to generate a decent amount of heat. And I mean, I, I also, I mean, come on, it, it's it's not getting any uh, any, any cooler in uh, in North America here. So uh, no, yeah, be true. Know, uh, you, you need to definitely have some form of ventilation or air conditioning. <laughs> so, so that's on you, TJ. I, I did say, hey, you know, make sure you have air conditioning with this when we when we built this thing. I, so, so, if- so there is so there's an air conditioner upstairs, um, and there's also an air conditioner in the next room, but. The way that I did the remodel trader with the lights and the wall, I have to yeah. have the door shut. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, you guys just see a big door instead of my wall. So I'm just telling you, run, get oh. a mini split. All right. Get a you mini know what? split, your life will be better. Hold on. I, let me just, can I just, I'm just going to show you guys this here for a second. I'm going to, I'm going to turn on the camera. All right. What I'm doing right now, trader is it is literally when when i open this door <laughs> trader when i open this door it's 20 degrees sh- cooler in the next room i believe it oh god I believe it. this feels so amazing right now oh. <laughs> holy to explain god. thermodynamics to you dj jesus yeah. criminy <laughs> all right God. Blue is right. You are truly a man yeah, from another time. You're, you're, I mean, you're lucky it's not rendering 24-7. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> God. No, I don't want to I don't want to take the door off because then, well, because then you can see it. Listen, when I go to this camera, you'll see the door. And then if I open Wait. the door, you see into the next room and it's ugly. Look, you all tricked me. I didn't even have my sign on. There. <laughs> so, so you could always you put go. a green screen in, the, in, in, like just you know, just outside that room, so that way, you, if you use the green screen, you would be able to actually see into the next. Oh, God. Are you guys just saying get a mini split and call it good? It will heat in the winter, cool in the summer, and you'll be fine. Are you guys saying that it's it's okay for me to take my clothes off? Because I I'll do it. No, <laughs> I'll do it. I the camera off. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 trader, I think you might need some uh, to provide your client with some legal advice there. Yeah, no <laughs> oh my oh. god! Jamie, Christmas. Yes, Captain's Log. You're absolutely right. This freaking computer takes 1.21 gigawatts just to freaking turn on. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I mean, we did build it to last. I mean, that's, we did. You know, <laughs> Doctor Juby says, "I'll get naked with you." All right, let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. So wrong. I'm telling you, man. So wrong. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Okay. Y'all are going to hell. What? Go, Louis P., I, I hope Chloe has stopped watching by now. Okay, you make sure of it. All right. <laughs> you stop. <laughs> Turn it off. All right. Uh. Anyway. What, it, what was somebody asking? I wanted to take Voyager out. Then you guys distracted me. With We distracted you? 200 degrees. Yeah. 200 degrees. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, you want to see the Tribune? Uh, I thought I showed you the Tribune. There, there's the Tribune. There she is. Oh, you want me to fly it? Um. Okay. Let's fly it. What do we want to, what do, we want to do with it? Do we want to go blow somebody up with it? Or do we want to yes. go kill hostiles? Yes, do it. You do should it. you should put burning below decks and add some extra shots and boost your damage with like some uh, Federation uh, boosters and then go kill some Federation guys. How do you put burning below decks? I adore you, Bubba Joe, but that's boring. Go kill. Go blow up some miners. Wait, how do you put how do you put burning below decks? We can't do that yet, can we? No. Oh, okay. Just making sure. I did say yet, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's see. What's uh, the bet again? Between Ripper and I? Uh, huh? Yeah, there was a bet. What was the bet? Yo, Carissa, thank you for your 1,000 kitty bitties. Look, Carissa says, <laughs> Carissa says, take it off. Okay. 
Oh, Chicote. All right. There we go. I don't know. Yeah, there was a bet. Didn't that have something to do with whether there was going to be a burning officer this arc? Yeah, uh, what, next what month specifically. What was the bet? Bubba, you I said. Was, yeah, I thought that was it. Whether there was going to be a burning officer this month. Yeah, what what yes. was the, what was the bet, Bubba? You said there would be uh, it's one. Probably, it is probably a pack. Yeah, no. Oh, but... I said there will not. Ripper said there will. I said there will not. You say there will not be a burning officer in the month of July, and Ripper says there will be a burning officer yep. in the month of July. Okay, I couldn't remember. I don't like my footing here. Ripper is usually on top of these things, so <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but yeah. I still feel confident. Yeah, the loser gets a face tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I'm imagining Bubba Joe with a face tattoo right now, and I am highly amused. All right, so we highly. got burning. What do we do? What did you say, Bubba? What are we running under deck? I was joking about running burning below deck. Yeah, but I mean, what did we actually run below deck? Odo and what? And Dezon? Are you going to go PvP? Yeah, yeah. Let's go find someone to kill. Uh, I would run... Dzok, well, if you only got two slots, I yeah, would run Dzok and Odo or Kira. Kira yeah, yeah, Kira. Okay. All right, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. So, let's go find somebody. Oops. Where's Wardod when you need him? Hey, Wardod. There's no way I kill his Corvus, is there? No way. Oh, God, no. Okay, I no. didn't think so. I, you know, Not I a tier know. three. Let's just try. I mean, I was You just might be able to kill... No. No, you you might be able to kill his uh, Kornar. Maybe. Wardod! If you didn't tear it up very far. Wardod, bring out your Kornar! Bring me your Cory. Sacrifice it for science! All right, where I, I don't remember where he's based. Uh, let's fly. I don't think he's in this system, but we'll fly over here just to check. I'm pretty sure he's not here. Maybe look he for was. the particular. Look at the direction your particulates from your base are moving. That should tell you where he's at. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's see if we can find him. I mean, this is not my best ship. I'll tell you why I I wanted to build it. First of all, I love I love the ship. And I love Romulans, and I just wanted to. But I also am Ops 53, and I don't have a battleship more powerful than my Augur, which makes battleship days really, really challenging, Bubba Joe. Makes it very, very tough. So now I've got a good battleship, and I'm cool with that. I like it. I like it. I'm not going to find Wardot. He is apparent. Oh, you know what? It's Mining Monday. Obviously, he's not down here. He's mining his little pants off. He's up in deep space somewhere. Guarantee it. Yep. He's up in deep space. All right. We're going to have to work up to find somebody else. So what is happening in the system today? Let's go to Freebooters. Let's see if anybody's in the Freebooter system. We'll kill them. We'll try that. Oh my God, it's hot. You should uh, make a prediction as to how many shots you're gonna fire. I know it's gonna be a lot because the Tribune ability stacks. And wait, where's Wardod? Wardod just showed up where? Where's Wardod? Did he show up? Is he in my system? No, he's not. Oh, I had an incoming attack banner. Was it Wardod? Oh, yay. Let's go back. Let's go back. Wardod. Wardod. I didn't see it. All right. We'll try to go get him back. But it's got... Listen. Make sure I can kill it. Make it an enterprise. You want to make sure you can kill it? Better bring a jelly. Bring a baby jelly. Wait, a baby jelly or a real jelly? I was thinking a real jelly. Bring a baby jelly, please. I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> it was his uh, coup son peck. Yeah. No, seriously, don't do that. I needed to go for at least a round or two. I want to count these shots. No, I can't use... He doesn't need to use a tally. There he is. What is Don't. he bringing? He brought a pile-up. That is not appropriate. That pile... It's no. Fine. That is not going to work. Stop it. Stop it. Just fight it. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Is he stop? Wait, where'd he go? Why are you warping out? Oh, he's going to go. Oh, he's a sweet pea. He's a sweet pea. He's going to go get another ship and bring it bring it over here. What a nice guy. All right. So when we're done with that, I want to I want to do some Voyager stuff. But yeah, we'll check out. Oh, we'll there check you out go. Tell trip. him to bring Voyager. Yeah, bring Voyager. <laughs> I might be able to beat that one. My Tribby would not die to an ISS jellyfish. Would it? <laughs> nah. No way. Um, no way. Well, my tier 12 jellyfish has more power than your, your Tribune right now. Does it really? Yeah. Wow. All right. What did he bring this time? You brought the pylum again, you big dodo. Oh, okay. There it comes. All right. What do we got? He did bring Voyager with with Explorer Strike Team. <laughs> okay. All right. Jace, I love how you're all. He's such a sweet pea, and then you big dodo. That's what that's what family does. All true. right. I'm yeah, gonna, that, that is true. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill this ship. And uh, obviously, we're gonna win. Now let's check the battle log. It only went two rounds. I, I was gonna say, I hope it at least went to round two. It did go to two rounds, but here's what we need to do. Oh wait, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to repair my base earlier, didn't I? Oh wait, did I win? You did. Oh look at that! I won. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. It's a crying shame. I okay. sense sarcasm. <laughs> um, My sarcasm detector is going off. <laughs> Anywho. All right. Let's see shots. Now, obviously burning matters, but we had burning because we had full battleship strike team. So we had a 52% chance to delay enemy player weapons by one round, which we did get to proc. Um, we also... Where's my Burning. Okay, here it is. So I took a shot. Laon um, has a 65% chance of burning player ships for three rounds uh, per hit if on a battleship. So I got hit. I proc burning. Why did Voyager still throw shots if Ortega's proc? Does it, it goes into round two? It, yes. It, so Ortegas, this is the great debate that we had earlier. Because my understanding is how she works, at least now, is that he she adds the weapons yeah, the recharge. That, that fired in that. Yes. So she, they would have still fired. Well... So they fire in, in round, round one. They fire in round one. Now, he got yeah. them also to fire in round two because of Wayun. I guess. He's not firing in round two. You are. Yeah, he's not. There's no, 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 no. His oh, shots yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, that's right. I was looking at the wrong. Okay. Those are all you, baby. <laughs> 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 all right. So by round two. That is the glory of the Tribune and Strike team. So I was burning. Tribune added two shots per weapon. Then uh, Laon adds another 140% on top of the two rounds, which is additive, by the way. So we go to three, four, five, six, seven. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, what the hell? All right, got to go back. All right. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23 shots I got in round two. 23 shots in round two. With a tier three Voyager. Or tier three tier tribute. Tier three tribute, yeah. I just lost count. What'd I say, 23 or 21? What'd I say? 23. 23. So, if we look at the original firing pattern, we would have had 10, which means we went up 13 extra shots in round two. Dang, man. Dang. And by the way, I think it could have been more than that, Bubba. Because I am not 100% sure that weapon number three ever fired. This is all weapon number two. Weapon three mm -hmm. never fired. Mm -hmm. So we got 23 shots when it was only supposed to be 18. Weapon number three never fired. And you can tell that based on the gaps in the log. All right. So we got seven shots off of weapon one, which was supposed to be two. Then we got... What's 23 minus 7? 16. We got 16 shots off of the weapon that was supposed to be 6. Oof. 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 That's a, that's a lot. It is a lot. And, of course, you can see over here I had some isolytic as well. Had some isolytic. Now, these shots are not that big. But it is only a Tier 3 Tribune, I guess. But also, when you have 23 shots, I guess they don't need to be that huge, do they? Nope. That's true. So, yeah, apparently, a thousand cuts. Wardot just now built a brand new Tribby just to mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a level three tier one Tribune. You, it is not. It's a tier six, you, you dodo head. You're such a dodo. I love you, man. That's a tier six. So he, wait, are you building this for scrapping? Are you building G3 epics for scrapping? Oh, wait, that's a G4. That's never mind. That's a G4 epic. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, that's a tier six tribute. He just hasn't leveled it yet. Yeah, tier six, level three. So he just hasn't leveled it. Maybe he's scrapping it. I don't know. But he did, he did kill my ship. Now, I got to be honest with you. Can you guys see over my shoulder my here? Can you guys see over my shoulder? Do you guys mm -hmm. see that the repair cost on this ship is $220 million? You see that? Yes. Yep. Ordinarily, trader, that would stress me out. Okay? Ordinarily, I would feel very grumpy about that. However. I, I can imagine. However, I have built a G5 ship. Mm -hmm. So 220 yes. million isn't really that stressful anymore. As a matter of fact, nope. I can tell you right now, I will likely, I will likely fly this Tribune for like PVE and all that stuff long before I fly my Corvus. I have actually found myself, Trader, in a position where I have, I have built this Corvus. And by the way, this Corvus, it, it's good. It's tier five. Okay, tier five Corvus. That ain't shabby. But, let me, but let me tell Probably you, Trader. tier too many. Ah. Really? Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. But now, now, do y'all see? Do y'all see? I ain't stressing 220 million. I ain't stressing 220 million. That says... 4.1 billion B billion with a b 4.1 billion don't no. don't make trader go blow up her uh her decks yeah. oh it, 
what does it cost to repair? Is it in the hundreds of billions or is it in trillions? Too much. That's what. Too much. What is it's it? Not, it's not. It's not. Repair is not trillions. It's not trillions. So hundreds yeah. of billions. <laughs> it's got to be hundreds of billions then. Right. Um, no. It's been too long since I've blown my deridicks up. Uh. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably around 100. My Daredex never dies. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. Oh. It's just what she implied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What she's too nice to say is that her Daredex would never die to you, is what she's trying to say. Well, obviously, clearly, it wouldn't. All right, but yeah. So even though I've built this thing, even though I've built this thing, Trader, I got to be honest with you, I, um, I'm i flying it sparingly right now. Do you guys remember, like I know Trader will and Bubba will, you guys remember when G4 first came out and those G4 ships, like people rushed and built them and then they were like, whoa, whoa, price tag. And you remember like this is years ago. And we were like, oh, my God, people have built these ships, and now they can't afford to fly them. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm a little late to the party, but I have built a Corvus that I cannot afford to fly. That's so what happened? I fly it very sparingly. I fly it very sparingly. Um, I take it to Armadas, and... Um, Mm, yes, Coldbane is right. You might want to consider refielding. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So, yeah, I fly, I mean, only I fly if you to like Armadas. I do. I need them. I need them all right now. I'm poor now. I am resource poor. As a matter of fact, I wish I had that that four or five trillion that Wardod, that I donated to Wardod here a few months ago. I wish I had it back. So, anyway, okay. All right, let's move to Voyager. Move to Voyager. Uh, um, Bubba does play Carissa. Yes. Wait, what? Carissa asked if the, the trader Bubba or Ripper even play anymore. Bubba plays. Bubba, Bubba will never quit. He's addicted. Bubba can't quit. I, I, be careful with that. Bubba can't quit. Bubba can't quit, and I can't quit you guys. So there we have it. There you go. Yeah, Bubba can't. Everything quit. else is everything else. Everything else is on its own. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that I was a me repairs. trying to phrase things nicely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I got you. I got you. It's all good. It's all Gucci. All right. So uh, let's see. What are we trying to do here? We're going to try to load up the dock. We're going to try to load up Hugh. And we need to do a little bit of adjustment here. Since this is a thing now. All right, cool. Then we'll go back. Oops. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I've been saving. I've been saving up for a day or two, Bubba Joe, for us to be able to come in and do some testing. Um, what I want to do tonight is see how far far we can fly with disco i don't think we're gonna be able to fly nearly far enough but it might be able to save us a little time uh let's see max i thought i had max warp range in here maybe i don't nope yes i don't all right um oh boy let me try to remember that was uh scotty right tos scotty Grush. Where you at, Grush? There you are, Grush. And then Cadet Scotty, right? Is that the, the highest that we can get? Pretty sure. I think so. Okay. So I'm sure we're not going to be able to get far enough. Yeah, it's only warp 240, not nearly far enough. But um, I was just trying to do it to save a little bit of warp time. What we're going to do, yeah, you know what? Oh, God. 
I don't have enough Latinum. Hang on. <laughs> I have not said that in a very long time. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Wow. When was the last time I was this low on Latinum? I mean, dude. Dude. So, Brandy. Brandy is is playing Star Trek Fleet Command now, Trader. She got a sponsorship. Yeah. And, and, dude, her level 10 account has more Latinum than I do. Like, shout out, Brandy. <laughs> you have more Latinum than I do. Uh, She's ops like level 12 now. All right. Um, here's what I'm doing because I can't, I can't wait on this, Bubba Joe. We're going to, we're going to knock out some research here. Yeah. We're going to knock out these super highways real quick. I wasn't going to do it because of the power, but you know, science. Just so you guys know, I'm giving up a research leaderboard to do this right now oh i can't get the fourth one oh no boo! you cannot boo on you scopely ah doesn't matter you getting the fourth one isn't going to help you at all yeah look right here's the one i want well, that's the one you're going to get oh good okay where's the where's the <laughs> That's <laughs> right. That's right. It comes in a mission, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Where, where's the mission? We Go love your refinery. Go to the Voyager refinery. Okay. Yeah, we got to knock this out super quick. Voyager. There it is. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's come back out. Let's put Disco Crew back on. No, that's not going to help, is it? Where's the mission point? Oh, that's garbage. All right, well, we'll set we'll set a warp timer there. It's going to take eight minutes for me to get there. Querity says, as an Ops 39 with a Tier 2 Voyager and warp component upgraded the max warp extension for Voyager, I can touch every single deep space system that is not the island part as an Ops 39, which is kind of broken. I don't think it's broken. I don't think it's broken. You don't. I mean, nah. He says that he can't hit. He says that he can only hit the hub systems, right? Is that what you're saying? No, he's saying he can get to every system. Every single one? All of the lower dark space systems, yes. That's not surprising. I mean, as a 39, that's a little surprising. Uh, I don't think it's surprising. They're pushing people into G4. That's. I think it's entirely intentional. So it, it's not that it can kill anything, why I wonder, but if he can warp to these systems, then he can reload and be able to mine this G4 system here. But, I mean... But again, it's pushing him out of G3 into G4. That's what they're doing. It's yeah. intentional. Yeah. So he can mine is what he can do. He can mine. And do armadas. And do some extra armadas. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think I'm that worried about it, to be honest with you. I mean, my, I mean, the mining thing might be a little bit annoying, but, you know. If he mines it with a Meridian, then kill him. <laughs> All right. So why go up in ops? Why go up in ops? Yeah. Because his ships aren't going to be capable of doing anything up there. You sure? I mean... Yeah, he could probably kill a couple and only You know what? You know what? Here's the deal. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it and I'll tell you why. Because when I was Ops 39, Ops 40 through probably 41, I really enjoyed the Capital City systems. I really enjoyed hitting those 49s bubba because it made my grinding events very very easy. And I look forward to I look forward to him having an opportunity to do that for a little while. If he can hit 46s as a 39, his PvE events just got super easy. And good for him. I'm good with it. Thank you, Hydrate. Uh, thank you, Stony Dude, for the Hydrate. Thank you. And the other Jesse, thank you for your Hydrate. Woo. Ugh. 
Yeah, so I'm, I, I mean, I'm not that upset about it, I don't think. Honestly. I mean, I guess there's probably going to be people who are, but I'm not one of them. People will get upset about anything nowadays. Yeah. I mean, you do realize that Scopely changed the capital city system because they didn't want people hitting that far out of their ops range. What? So they dropped it from 50 to 49? 55 to 49. Oh. Uh... Well, they also changed the drop rates because people were grinding out the G4 ships there. Also true. But getting the drop rates from Deep Space are better than the Capital City system, so... Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think I think it's all pushing people into G4. That's my opinion of what is happening. Well, and you know what? Here's the next thing. You know what? I like Garrick's idea. If he's got some larger players on his team, he now can do some pretty big armadas, which means ship sourcing is going to be easier. The armada chests are going to give him more materials. Like, I don't see a downside to this, to be honest with you. I mean, I know it's going to make it a little bit more crowded, but he is going to be better off because of it. Yeah. No, I'm not saying he's not going to be better off. I'm saying that Scopely did not think of this because this is against everything that they've rolled out. That may be possible. That may be possible. But then again, then again. They have been... Scopely, Scopely wants to be the reason. Stony dude, Chris, here's your random thought. Scopely wants to be the reason, Bubba, that you look down at your phone and smile right before you walk <laughs> smack dab into a pole. Okay? Like, that's it. Scopely wants to be the reason you look down at your phone, smile, and walk into a phone pole. Phone booth. Power pole. Manhole. Parked car. <laughs> <laughs> Angry puppy. Uh, and indeed. If I'm looking at my phone and smiling, it won't be Scopely game I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> well, not their, not their web store anyway, Aaron. But listen, yeah. <laughs> in all fairness, in all fairness, if he is able to get to that hub, he probably should be smiling. Like his game just got a lot better. His payouts got better. His time investment got lower. Dude, enjoy it while you can. Because it does not get better as you go higher up. True story. I, I am shocked at how bad the Battle Pass event is for killing worms. Now, Why? Because why are you shocked at that? Because when I was lower because than he never believed me. <laughs> any of us? Apparently? No, never believed any of us. No, I believed you. But I thought that it got balanced. Were... No, no, no. I mm -hmm. thought that they stopped scaling it after forty six. Uh-huh. They need to find something to pair with the worms, just like they've paired something with Swarm for uh, those events. Chris says he wants another random thought because he doesn't want one involving Scopely. Okay, fair. I got it. Um, <laughs> okay, I've got one. So tonight, uh, tonight my boys are with me for the summer, my big boys. And uh, I think I told you guys, Landon's working with me at the dealership. So he was at, uh, he was with me at the dealership. And Noah was at home. And I asked Noah to prepare something for dinner tonight, something easy, because I knew that I had Twitch tonight and, and I had other stuff that I needed to get done. So I asked him to take care of dinner tonight. <laughs> and <laughs> Trader, it must mm -hmm. be, it must be close to the end of the month. Because, according to Noah, <laughs> according to Noah, I am apparently at the what can I make with green beans and cake mix stage of needing groceries. All right. He said, I asked him to make something. <laughs> wow. I, I, asked him, I asked him to make something for dinner. And he, so he comes back with, like, Dad, 
What do you expect me to do with green beans and cake mix? <laughs> uh, yeah. I was like, yep. I was like, I'm so sorry, son. I apologize. <laughs> is that all there is? That's he was like, well, there's a pack of Jello too. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I cried. I cried. What do you want me to make with green beans and cake mix? Oh, my God. You know what? I bet if you got him, like, a 1950s cookbook, you could find something in there to make with green beans and a cake mix. I'm sure you could. All right. Chris says that one's very much better. Razzla says, <laughs> clearly, you can make a cake. Yeah, yeah, but we didn't probably have any frosting. Oh. And Blaze says, you know what? If that were my parents, they'd come back and say, it sounds like there's plenty of food in the house. You got cream beans and cake mix. You're fine. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, thank you for That's asking. Funny. Thank you for asking for another I, one, Chris. I'm just trying to good. figure out why he's trying to incorporate the green beans. Like, why not just make a cake? <laughs> I mean... Maybe he didn't want it for dinner. I don't know. But, I mean, it, that was... It was somebody, Dad, what do you expect me to make with green beans and cake mix? I was like, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I'm a terrible cat, Dad. Oh, God. My head is actually that hurting is from laughing hilarious. so hard at that one. All right, make the hat bigger. Got it. Whoop. Oh, too big. Okay, there we go. All right, it is way too late, DJ. You uh, and Trader have fun tonight. I am Bubba, sorry. it's not a clock. No, Try ten, again. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Try again. It's 949. N no, it's not. Wait, what time? I thought you were, are you mountain time or central time? I'm set. Okay, you're quoting what my time is, not yes, your time. Yes, yes, your time. Yes, yes. It is 950 my time, yes. Dude, did you love that Pat Sajak commercial on the podcast yesterday? Did that really grind your G-E-A-R-S? Uh, I think I got up and went to the bathroom during it. <laughs> oh, so good. There was a there or, was a parody commercial about Wheel of Fortune. Or, or maybe it just made me feel like it's the bathroom. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. harsh. That's a very strong sentiment, Bubba Joe. Yeah. No, in, in fairness, DJ, I don't listen to any of the commercials live. I go up and get something to drink. I get a snack. I, you know, stretch my legs because we go for 14 hours. Um, so I don't listen to any <laughs> of the commercials live. I did listen to it today when I listened to the podcast on replay. And I just oh. was like, oh, it's a Pat Sajak joke. What it was. It was so good. It was so G-O-O-D. Oh, man. You sure it wasn't G-U-D? Get gooder. <laughs> oh, it was gooder. good stuff. It was gooder. It was gooder. All right. Uh, well, Bubba Joe is going to leave right as I'm about to prove him wrong on the tier stuff of this Voyager. But, you know, it's fine. It's all right. Go ahead and tuck your tail while you can. It's fine. <laughs> oh, jeez, DJ. <laughs> Have fun. All right. Thanks, man. Uh, no, Didn't actually, I, in you all were concerned that you needed to get the top <laughs> level to get to the level 60 system that you won't be able to scratch anything anyway. Well, I didn't know which one was going to unlock clearly now. OK, boom, 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 done, done, done. Now it's good. There's the warp locks. Bada, bada, bing, bada, bada, boom. And there we go. Got it. All right. So hopefully that saves us some time now. Uh, yo, fun. what's up? Thanks, Bubba. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping in. Tremius, thank you for your 10-month subscribe anniversary. Appreciate that very much. And Mike from Chicago, thank you for dropping Lord Neelix a gifted sub into the chat. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Dirty Bird Bill, resubbing to the channel for 10 months in a row. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you. And Yaxum, thank you for your 9-month subscribe anniversary. Yo, 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 yo. All right. Now. Oh, K92 says, you think worms are bad? Wait till you have to do Eclipse at 60. Wait, they don't scale those either? Oh, my nope. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway. Okay. Ooh. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take that puppy out real quick. All right. So, here's what How I've done. How do you not know this? Uh, do you want to know something, honest to God? 
Yes. I've been told that they were fixed. Uh. I mean, and I'm not there. And uh. stfc.space doesn't work anymore. So how am I supposed to see it? Yeah, I suppose. AKA. Whoever told you that they're fixed is. Um, yeah. I'm not going to say it. Yeah. All right. So I anyway. shall be nice. Anyway, here, let me uh, let me start another research here real quick. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? I don't need that one at the moment. Let's do loot. Okay. Anyway. All right. Now, coming back. So, here's the deal. We're going to hop into the graphics room. Jules was here a while ago, but, like, we stalled too long, so I think he left. All right. Um, can you guys see this okay? Here is the new Voyager refinery. It's the new Voyager refinery. Now, what we're going to be looking at here, at Tier 5, who just joined? That's Jules. Jules, you're still awake. What's up, Jules? Yes. I just switched to lurk mode so that you can do irresponsible things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a lot of that up my sleeve tonight. Um, so let's settle in and let's do some educational nerd stuff. Um, Lord Neelix says, graphic room, please. It's already in there, my man. Go back to June. Go back to June 16th and you'll see the post. Here it is. Now, the reason that I can say go back to June 16th is because the Herogen loot and the Species 8472 loot refineries, they actually didn't change. So you could ignore this section right here, the common anomaly sample exchange, because that did change a little bit. But what we're looking at, <clears throat> what we're going to be looking at tonight specifically are biotoxins. Now, the reason that I want to talk about biotoxins, Blue says this one's old. You sent, oh, you sent me a new one? All right, hang on. Where is it? Is it in the lab or did you PM it? Because I'm about 350 PMs deep. Oh, you sent it to me during the show. Oh, I'm never going to catch that, man. <coughs> Zero Signal says, does Borg Queen remains ever turn up in the refinery uh the answer is no 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 the no. only one that returns up in the refinery is the dual generators and that's either the common or the rare anomaly correct um i have gotten some borg remains but i believe it was from this chest yeah um, I got some Borg Queen remains, but I got it from this isolytic artifact restoration thing where they were giving away some currency. Uh, I actually found that to be somewhat valuable. Um, I didn't really make progress, I guess, but, um, yeah, I got, I've got 31 out of a hundred. So, but you know, I mean, it's 31 that I got out of that, um, out of that currency this month, but that's about it. So anywho. Um, let me come back here. So what we wanted to talk about tonight are the biotoxins. Now, Blue's going to send me a new chart. Here, I bet this is it. Okay. Here we go. Brand new chart. Boom, boom, boom. So here's the new chart. That's not the new chart either. What is this? This isn't the new chart. Is yeah, it, it looks new. Yeah. All right, hang on. What's different about it? Well, the costs are different, and we've added tier 10 and tier 12. So the cost for the uh, rare, common and rares are updated. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so these costs... Oh, I thought you had a new one and an old section. Okay, all right. So let's close this one out. Well, we, we did, but we just, we're going to archive that because that's never going to be useful again. That okay. was just for comparison's sake. So we'll just look at the new stuff from here on out. Okay. Now, Mimi, I, I don't think that I would stress out about it not going anywhere because this, um, as far as the Borg Queen remains, 
I I have a feeling that we're going to see this return before the end of Voyager, okay? I don't know how much, but I do think that we're going to see that. Plus, I think that we will see some of these artifacts. Jules, what do you think the likelihood is that we will see artifact shards in the event store? Uh, very strong. I think it's very, very likely. So I think there will be an opportunity for you, to, uh, for you guys to, to finish some things off. Now, uh, coming back to this thing. Blue, you said yesterday on the podcast that you were still holding it tier three. But you're an Ops 49, right? Correct. So tell me why you are scared to go beyond Tier 3 now that the refinery costs have changed. Because I don't feel like Tier 3 should be a problem for you anymore. Well, Tier 3 uh, isn't the problem as much as the uh, warp range that's locked behind. Ops 50. Research. Yeah, but you can... D DJs, DJs, do you yeah. mind if I walk you through some crazy math? Yeah, let's do it. I I'm, I'm going to need you to pull up the Voyager refinery spreadsheet. Now, gotcha. The link's everywhere. Yeah, both no, in the I... Chat uh... If you want to follow along, it's in the lab. It's in the your chat room as well. Yeah, I've got it so, right here. Okay. Uh, under expected grind. I want you to go to not, that not, tab. Not your copy, the latest and greatest. Yeah, yeah, no, this is yours, right? I've yep, got yep, yours. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay, so expected grind. So first, let's let's just take a look at the A472 loot table. Now, he, here's the thing. We we know that you're able to triple chest the Herosian hostels, no problem. You get nine uses uh, in three days, no problem. But in order to hit a certain level of chest, you need to hit a certain level of hostel. Now, I did a couple of different variations, just base, then with 100% loot, and we've You've talked about it. Everyone's talked about it. You need to maximize your loot. You got to put a 511 on there. You got to put the Doctor below deck. You got to work on that research, Voyager hostile salvaging. You got to get your loot up. So with 100% loot, which is a tier 3-5, a tier 2 Doctor, level 6 of that of that uh, research, that's 100% loot. With 200% loot, that's max everything. Now, there's very few players that can even do that in the game. Sure. Like, I don't know who's got a max Doctor. I don't even think that's possible right now. No. But let's just pretend that somebody has a max doctor. We're looking at the 200% loot. Okay. That gets us to our next chart. Just a couple over. We're looking at 8472 loot exchange cost per ship ability use. So if I wanted to, at let's say tier three, max pull my 8472 loot exchange, I would need to hit level 47 hostels. But ops 43 players, ops 46 players, they can't get there unless they use Grush, and in that case, they're sacrificing some combat ability in order to get there. So it, it's just not possible for anyone 45 and down to triple chest if they try to go beyond tier three. Even I as an Ops 49, that. even as an Ops 49, you want to go to tier four, which theoretically feels comfortable, you're not going to be able to triple chest consistently because you have to be able to hit the level 50 hostels to do that consistently. Now, right now, month one, we got a large surplus of extra deuterium. If you built your sh your Voyager within the 20 days of the arc, you got an extra 3,000. There's other events. There's a field training that give you extra de deuterium. You're just getting a lot extra in this first month that you're not gonna feel the pinch of this later on in the loop. But if you used it for, let's say, the base finding ability, if you used it to hit the Borg data cubes, and those special systems, if you used it for anything other than hitting an 8472, you're gonna start feeling that pinch even sooner. Uh, and that's gonna become a problem for you. So that's where the first hurdle is. Can I max pull the 8472 loot exchange? And I think it's for not anyone- hitting a 8472, it's hitting the right 8472. That's correct, that's absolutely correct. You can't just sit there and hit 40s with your pylum all day long, even though your pylum could do that and get even extra loot because your pylum's got the extra loot bonus, it's still not going to make up for you, you know, getting enough that you need. So you need to use the Voyager. You need to hit the correct A472, the highest one you could possibly hit with your warp range that you're locked to in order to maximize your pulls. Okay, all right. So we've gone through that part. That's the first bottleneck. Now let's move 
over to the right and look at loot exchange likely pulls. So what this says is, is A, based on your warp range, the highest hostile you can hit with 100% loot bonus, what can you likely do? And I'm not saying that this is everybody. Some people are going to be able to do a little bit better. Some people are going to do a little bit worse. That's based on their loot bonus. That's based on what crews they put on there to get a little extra warp range. That is going to vary a, a bit from person to person. But just on average for everybody, this is the table that says, for your ops range and the tier of your ship, can you single, double, or triple chest pull that particular loot exchange? Then we take that, we scroll down, and we see likely max cargo. This is looking at what you could possibly do with your research bonuses. So your ops locked on your researches. So that research bonus is basically max for your um, research, for your ops. This includes treasury. This includes everything else that's going to affect your max cargo. And then just rough crew bonus. And then I kind of started for everyone who's G3 and low G4. They've got two of 11, four, uh, four of 11 stawn with lawn below deck at some lower tiers. And we go all the way up to an op 60 who has max everything, Mavery as captain, that sort of thing. So what we can see here is just a rough table. Now again, this is likely max cargo. Some people are gonna have a little more for their ops and tier. Some people are gonna have a little bit less based on some other factors, but this is what we see, likely max cargo. Okay, and that leads us to the big chart. And this is the most important one. Possible anomaly combinations per tier at a particular ops range. Now this is telling you, based on how many times you can pull the A472 loot exchange, based on the cargo capacity, and this is assuming that you're mining and you're mining the correct things at every time, uh, and with the new refinery cost, this is likely what each ops player is gonna be able to pull at each tier level. And we have talked about how uh, it is super important that you triple pull your common every single time. Mm -hmm. And it's not really important that you hit the, the double rare chest because are you even gonna find a rare node to do that? So this yeah. whole range where I say max in here that's nice <laughs> and you'd love to be max and get the double rare pull but like i don't even know if that's possible at this yeah, at this three, stage three common and one rare can be a little greener yeah three common and one rare is the standard that is what everyone should be able to hit and wants to be able to hit but Wait, what, what we're looking like at purple is purple or something what i'm saying so for for you blue you're uh, ops 49 you should be able to hit three common one rare no problem at tier five oh, yeah but you're going to be a little bit struggling because you're right on the brink of being able to do that. And then you'll never, like, you have to be able to hit your common. You probably do the grind option a few times in order to make sure you get enough rare for your rare pull. So, like, yeah, you, you'll be able to hit the three common one rare, but you'll never, ever be able to have enough cargo capacity or enough of the cell, the warp cells to get in there quick enough to actually ever get to that second rare pull. So maybe you yeah. want to do that, and you're going to hold back at tier three, so you have the option to do that. Yeah, I can I can like forget about Voyager for a week, still doing all of this, and if I was tier four, I would be it would require more upkeep. I would wouldn't be able to take a week off. Right. So you'd be tighter on making your refines. Exactly. So maybe there's some flexibility in, in there for you as an Ops 49. Hey, do I want to have a plenty of cargo to be able to do what I want to do? Or should I just push, push, push? Let's take a look at some other things. So we, we know the major outputs of this loop are, you know, upgrading your ship, so your ship parts. Uh, there's also the research particles for increasing the effectiveness of your ship. They're also the other research that is really highly valuable. And then I think the highest and most valuable is the isolytic artifacts. Like just getting the maximum amount of shards from that as possible. Uh, secondary is getting the commerce insignia um, and trying to maximize that, not just for the refinery options that are there for people who haven't maxed those ships, but also just for the free prime that you're gonna be able to get. So being able to max how many da daily commerce insignia you could possibly get is gonna be really helpful. So there's four different charts down here that show you your likely daily ship part acquisition, your likely daily isolytic artifact shard acquisition, research particles, and daily commerce insignia. And you can see these will vary widely based on your options. So even though 
at, let's say, uh, at Ops 49 doing at Tier 5, you're not going to be able to get your triple chest of your 8472 loot exchange because of your cargo capacity you'll still be able to do three commons and one rare consistently even with only getting six warp cells every three days that's wrong two warp cells every three days you get the point that you'll still be able to get enough loot from mining with the voyager that you'll still be able to do three commons and one rare so that's going to inc like maximize what your daily isolitic artifacts are going to do Daily ship parts, basically you want to max your ship for your tier, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, research particle bounces around a lot, but you you're have this sweet spot, so like tier 3, tier 5, tier 7. So you're, you're still going to be able to do a lot, but your daily commerce insignia is going to drop off because you're getting most of it through your A472 loot exchange. So this is where, like, for you, Blue, like, you want to figure out what do I want to maximize here? Where do I want to get the most efficiencies? Do I need the Voyager for anything other than this loop? No, then this is what I want to maximize. So, so Blue, what do, what do you want to maximize and why did you choose tier three to stop? Uh, just because uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm probably going to be going to tier four sometime soon. I just wanted to spend that time as a tier three buffering and building that stockpile and just uh, not having to put invest that much time in the in the loop on top of other stuff uh you know there's others who have the free time to invest go gung-ho on it and they can i just uh it was it was just one less thing to worry about uh so as i do all the grinds let me let me interject here and and kind of simplify and answer some questions that we've got in the chat so yesterday blue and i don't know if you had a chance to listen to the show um or uh, not blue, Jules, because uh, blue, I knew you were in the audience. Jules, yesterday we were kind of talking about like the tier three cutoff, and I see players in the chat right here, kind of like Voltron, Cold Bane, um, Anand Games. Some of these guys are asking, so where, where should I be at X Y Z Ops range? Here's kind of what I said yesterday on the show, and you tell me if this is a good broad statement. I kind of said like 45 or 46, and I think later we discovered it was 46 and down needs to probably hang out at tier three. And that was because primarily of the warp range available in this particular node. Because uh, Blue, you had mentioned that this particular research, the um, antimatter anti anti recycler has a, warp uh, has a warp lock on it for you to get to the level 47 hostile systems. And I felt like level 47s are kind of necessary for you to be able to survive at tier four. So let's come back to Jules to your chart and see if this actually is holding up mathematically. First of all, can you tell me if I want to maintain triple biotoxin pulls as a 47, what hostile am I supposed to be hitting? Uh, one second, doing the math. So if you get roughly 160% loop bonus, you could be hitting the level 47s. As a I tier three. Crush. Is that right? That may be wrong. But I mean, I, I was right. I, tr I, I was 47, I was using Grush to kill 47s. Sometimes it took two well, steps. Yeah, so if you're doing like five Lorca Grush and then you put uh, Doctor Blow deck and you have the Voyager Hostile Salvaging up, you you probably could get pretty close to that depending on your on your tier. Uh, plus with the extra deuterium you got this week, and if you're maximizing, yeah, I think tier four you'll at least triple chest the A472 for the foreseeable future until there's other things that come around that make your life better. And that I was, was kind of five Lorca crushed, but five King crushed might be better. I'm not sure. And that that was kind of what we were what we were leaning at yesterday. Is 46 and down needs to probably stay at tier three. 47 plus probably uh, is good at tier four, potentially tier five, depending on your ops and your research. Uh, Voltron, uh, to acknowledge your question in the chat, or maybe it wasn't a question. But I kind of acknowledged the research yesterday as almost like Monopoly 
modules necessary to build evenly with the ship. Like you've got to do yes. the research. Like it, 100%. it's not and, an option. And I agree 100%. I did listen to, your, to the podcast afterwards, and I do agree with the importance of the the order of importance of the research that you guys talked about. So I would say uh, in terms of like, oh, when do I go? That kind of question. I don't know the number, but I would say the number to pick would be a stockpile of biotoxins. And once you hit that number, you're kind of cushy to go up a tier. So uh, from three, three to four, just because you have a buffer of like, at least I don't have this many weeks that I don't have to be like frantically trying to get that triple pull. Now, I, I want that tier to... three was able to buffer up a supply. I want to do something here real quick. Hey, don't leave. Uh, as you guys can see, Wardod followed me up here. Now, Wardod just summoned a bio ship, but then turned around and killed it with his Kovsum Peck. All right? Which is a G5 rare ship. Now, G5 rare ships do not have loot bonus. Okay? On the other hand, his Voyager is tier four, but only level 15. Now, as an Ops 58, Wardod, I don't know where your research is, but I could all but guarantee that you could kill one of these. Because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come down. Now, granted, mine is tier five, and it is level 25. All right. But I am going to summon one here, and this is a level 51. The crew that I'm using, should I, should I steal it? <laughs> oh, I should steal it. Wardod, stop! Stop using the cov! Use your Voyager, silly goose! All right. Um, At least level it up to 20. So we're going to summon one. Now, I'm going to kill it with, uh, with my Voyager here, which is going to be fine. Now, the reason I'm asking, how, mu how many biotoxins are you getting per hostile? The reason that we're asking that question is because the Voyager loot gain research is vitally important. This is why uh, Jules was talking about the research as we were talking about on the show yesterday. Yes, you have got to focus in on these researches. You have got to be able to build these things up, okay? You've got to be able to build these things up. Cargo is very, very important. Bartering is okay. Not super huge, top of the list. Antimatter recycler. And Voyager Hostile Salvaging, those are the big ones. And if you were going to add a fourth one, I do like the mining speed, but we're going to show that one off here in just a minute. All right. Um, now, the reason... You're not going to like what I have to... You're not going to like what I have to say, DJ, but another my suggestion to Wardod 2 would be, you know, even if he brought a Discovery and a G4 Rare, he'd still probably be pulling the most loot. Just because if you can get the end ship... Dude, uh, can it can it just you can't you can't get discovery there. Discovery though. can't get here. No. Discovery cannot get there. It's warp 405. So that's what I'm saying. You've got a loot gain ship in Voyager. Now, here's what I got. Now, granted, I did kill that one trader earlier, so let's look at our battle logs just to prove that nobody's playing any funny business here. Okay? 9052. You got a chest? Huh? No, not on yeah, that one. Chest. 9,052 relics. Ooh, I did on this one. 9,052 relics, 5,106 biotoxins. Interesting. Oh, it, says no, it says no chest found, but... Yeah, it's, it's a bug that's been around since this latest patch, and I've just given up at this point. All right, so let's open it up, and what we're going to see are no commerce insignias. Daggone it. Is that 100 plus? No, I didn't. You, I got the, you got Officer XP off of that one. Yeah, it's usually yeah. Officer XP or Commerce Insignias, but I think even the Commerce Insignias, every time I get a chest, it's less than 20%. Now, it looks like Wardod just bailed out. Maybe maybe he's watching, maybe he's listening. But this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, when, we, when I summoned that hostile, does anybody remember what the base was? Actually, let's come back and look at the chart. We're killing 51s. The base... Probably like a billion, right? No, no, no. The base loot. Oh. 
Let's see. Roughly 2161. It, somewhere. I think mine yeah. showed. I think mine showed roughly 2200. All right. Yeah. That's about right. It's and tabs called eight eight four seven two systems. And I got 5100. All right. I got 5100 out of that one. That one deuterium pull. All right. Now, if that means that I am probably here somewhere between the 100 and 200 percent, and that makes sense, right? I'm using five of 11. Um, I also have the research. So my five of 11 is 100 percent. I got the doctor at tier one underneath. What is he? 10 percent. So there's 110, and I've got the research at what was it? Blue 20 percent. Is that what we talked about yesterday? Uh, research is currently like at twenty percent, so I got a hundred and thirty percent loot bonus, and I still landed with about fifty one hundred. Now, the thing about fifty one hundred, if I come back into my Voyager refinery, even at tier five, and this is why I am confused about why some people are scared about this. Oh, wrong tab. Um, because I just got five thousand off of one and i'm not using max loot all right five thousand off of one but over the course of three days i'm gonna get nine chances at that all right which let's say even i, I got 51 what do we what do we say it was 51 let's call it an even five all right nine times five is forty five thousand. i only need thirty two thousand. i am not yet seeing I'm not yet seeing the bottleneck for the biotoxins at 47 plus. Okay, I agree. Well, what, I what's agree your tier at 46 your 5, It is tier five, but I mean, yeah. I'm still. How I'm many st people have tier five? Not a like, ton. I, this is this but, is but this, this is, is where the problem is. Like, I, it's there is a range between 100% loot and 200% loot, and I get that. I'm only the at 130%. I'm at 130%. And you're, you're above also, average of all players. You're so also like you, nine a week. So you can push up a little bit. As an off 53, as an above average loot loot bonus that you have, you can push your tier more than the recommended amount. And that is what I'm trying to, to, to describe to a lot of people that we're, when we're trying to give this advice, it's not tier three hard stop. It's tier three, if you've got more bonus, if you can push it a little bit, if you got a little more research, maybe go tier four. But the Matter optimal what, tiers tier three for the average and player. And build. Like either well, way, just halt, pause at tier three at least. Get a little, get if for like at least two weeks. Get some buffer. Uh, see, and then th you can decide. Th this is this is a part of the skew uh, or or the perspective on this data that I feel like we might be missing. All right, and the data is beautiful. I'm not saying that the data is not spot on, but the one factor that I think we're missing is that we are automatically assuming that a tier of Voyager is where somebody is ops-wise. And that's why I think it's very safe to say that 46 and down, I do think that there is probably a spot at tier three, probably no higher than tier four, but definitely tier three, where that is probably a spot where you got to hold for a minute. But, for example, blue at 49, me at 53, I don't mathematically see a problem with this loop until about tier 8 or tier 9. All right? And well, he can't hit. Blue can't hit the hustle you just hit. No, like that's but immediately he can, the problem. He can kill a 47. And a 47 will allow him to do what he needs to do at tier four and tier five. Yes. Yes. But not tier eight or tier nine. So he so cannot why push are it we, past tier five. That's fine. And I and I kind of said that yesterday too. So why are we telling people, Blue, that you as an Ops 49 don't want to go past tier three? I don't think that's good advice. Mathematically, was, you can do tier five. Yeah, I just don't always expect people to be like, bring my punch up potential to their gameplay. And if you're kind of just going in blind, working things out, you're probably going to hit more. You're probably going to be tripping more than running. So, DJs, go back to like, the... Oh, biotoxins again. Like, oh, like you know, if you had a buffer ahead of time, you'd be like, eh, it's not so bad.
So scroll to the right where it says the possible anomaly combinations per tiered ops, and then go a little bit more right than that. All right. Just a little, scroll a little bit more right. So this is just my my basic tier and recommendations. It's basically following exactly what you said in the podcast yesterday and what we've been talking about. Ever since the new numbers came out, this is what I came up with. And these are optimal tiers, right? So just like we've been saying, 47 and up, you should yeah. you should feel comfortable pushing it to tier five. But it's not until Ops 59 where it really starts making sense to push it to tier eight, tier nine. Now that's not to say that somebody who's been camping at 57 for a hot minute and who can max out these researches shouldn't be getting to tier six or tier seven. That's not to say that because maybe they'll find more optimization there because they can get more loot. They've got the max five. They probably paid for a few more tiers of the doctor during the event store. They've got that, uh, you know, loot bonus research maxed out. They're, they'll be fine at tier seven. So this is optimal tiering for now based on the current math. People can push it a little bit if they feel comfortable doing so once they get to that tier. Well, I um, I was kind of looking at this based on. I actually am, am comfortable. I'm glad to see this here. I didn't see this part of the chart um, because I am going to go past tier five. Um, and and the reason that I'm I'm looking at that, I am an ops fifty three. I look here and I have kind of all but determined that. See, I was thinking tier seven. But you've got it identified here at Tier 6, which I think is probably really, really close. And this might be depending on biotoxins. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, three yes. common. Three yeah, common is, is and, a, and a single rare I feel like is probably an okay spot to be. Now, that being said, there are other systems that I hope to be able to get to. Now, look at here at this one. For example, for me to get to this level 53 system which I can't do right now. Um, but that is only, if I'm not mistaken, one more level of research. Let me check. Uh, no, you won't be able to get there with one more level of research. You'll be ops locked at warp 500 base. But if you add Grush, you'll be able to get there. So I actually use five Lurka Grush and I go to the 53 systems, but I have to double. I'm not strong enough with a tier five Voyager. So I have so to double tap them. But I bet you if you go... I so, bet you if you go to uh, tier six, you may be able to to kill them in one shot. But on one warp range shoot, shoot. is the limiting factor, is what you're saying. I will not be able well, to do the you research. Can, you can get, get there with five. Grush on board. And this contains a level 53 hostile. Correct. So I think, I think in your specific case, with your research, your capabilities... Your loot bonuses, all of the things that you have, yeah, tier six is not going to be a problem. Well, we should try that tonight. Actually, I don't know if I can tier my Voyager yet. I probably could not do it on a tier five Voyager. Well, if you can get that warp research up, because you got tier five right now. I, I yeah. It's literally irritating me that you're sitting on that warp research. Well, just because I'm just like, it, it, once you, you just built a button, tree, man. doesn't your ultimate max warp range increase? Do what now? Like once you hit that button, doesn't your potentially like you as an ops 53, your maximum warp range increases, right? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, the yeah. Voyager is your farthest ship. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that it's not a good one to have. I really so truthfully explore even more. Well, the biggest reason is we just came off an auction, so all the research I had going was material research for the for the auction, and uh, we haven't had a research event yet for me to clear them out and restart these, so that's why I, I didn't. Um, hmm. But yeah, no, I've been working on them. But wait, uh, hold on, DJ. So you were yeah. just really irresponsible for like a solid thirty minutes, and right now you decided to be responsible again. Well, not right now, but earlier today, after the auction. Yeah. He dabbles in responsibility. I dabble. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a thing. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. Let me uh let me kill one or two more of these things. Well let's take a look at the base loot here, just so we can see it. Twenty one seventy eight's the base loot. I got nineteen thousand two hundred and forty in my cargo. Don't let me forget that. 
240 in the cargo. We're going to see what it goes up to with a 2178 base. Now we got 24, 360. So, yeah, we're getting a little over 5,000. Call it 5,000 per hostel at this level. Um, if I stayed here, if I stayed at this one, I would be able to pull my Tier 5 refinery, but not my Tier 6 refinery unless I hit a larger hostel. Yep. That, so, that jump is double. It's nuts. One tier it doubles. Yeah, because... Nuts, it's a punch of the nuts. <laughs> well, clearly, <laughs> clearly, we are intended to hit the next level up. That's what I'm saying. If I wanted to go to tier six, I need to be ready to hit the 53s. Now, according to the Voyager refinery chart, the 53s have a base... Is there not a 53? Is it just 51 and 55? 53. Oh, oh, okay. It's a hostile. Probably. There, yeah, level 53 is the hostile. So ops gating is ops 51. So technically ops 51 could reach that 53. Oh, okay. I got you, got you, got you. All right. So yeah, yeah. the base loot in a level 53 looks to be approximately 2,650, give, it, give or take. Which means I'm probably going to get in the neighborhood of six to sixty-five hundred, with with my mathematical base. So at an extra thousand or two. Yeah. So let's say it's sixty-five. Oh, it's still not going to be quite enough, is it? Because that <laughs> refinery goes to sixty-six thousand, and I would be coming in at roughly 58 or 59,000. So a little bit. You know what? We're going to do it tonight. We're going to do it. Let's see what we can actually get off one of those hostels. I, I would say the tier 6 plus biotoxin refinery needs a, needs a little attention. Let's see what happens with it. We're going to we're going to bump up. We're going to see if grinding is actually necessary at tier 6 or higher. For the love of God, one. DJs, please finish the loot research that you have going right now, at least. Yes, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. So each one of these fact, hostels you keep summoning and all that loot that's just flying off into space. Okay. Nah, he gets it for free. I don't get loot. They haven't given me anything for this yet. They actually offered me sales. They're just going to throw in biotoxins at you like, yeah, you can afford it. Yeah, they offered me sales, See? It's perfect. but um, I turned them down because of that whole 21 day thing. Because I told him I wasn't going to grind hostels. I'm going to do it natively. I'm going to do it the way they intended. So, let's hop into the research tree. On, on that note, DJ, the, the thing is, like, you're arguing about the feasibility and stuff, but at the end of the day, you're also talking like, oh, if you're this higher tier and grinding your butt off, which kind no. of defeats the point. Right? No, that's exactly the point. I'm not going to do this with a grind. I'm not. And, and they are telling me that that was not their design. Like, the, the people that are doing this with G4 and G5 ships, that was not what it was supposed to be. So... Oh, but I meant, like, oh, you pop a hostile and someone sniped it from you. Oh, I guess I can't afford triple pulls this week. Well, yeah, that would be... I, I would kill somebody. Like, you're that close on the brink. Like, that amount of stress. Which I think is kind of like I think it should be more comfortable as you develop your tiers. Holy Not cow! Comfortable. How much of this research is it going to let me do? I'm going to be fine. Wait, do do warp range, do warp range. Yeah, dear God. Yeah, I got to do one of those. Right? Just do just do Science. one of those. Yeah, you're not going to be able to afford the last research of the loot. That's okay. That's okay. That's worth it because there's far more loot. Do and more yes. range than there is in that research. All right. So there we go. I've got I've got the warp range requirement. I've got my loot bonus now up to 45% from the 20% that it was before. Uh, now. Just go off 55 real quick. Nah. 
Now, what we're going to do, let's come in here and see if there's anything we can do with Voyager. Not really anything that I want to do right now. So we're just going to leave it as is. Level 25, tier 5. Now, what we should be able to do now is adding Grush We are going to, oh boy, oh boy. So oh boy. I would drop Kang and add Grush. You think? Yeah. Yeah, piercing isn't really getting you a ton. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure yet if it's uh, Lorca or Kang for this. Okay. Also, Tom Paris uh, or uh, what's her face? Um, um, Mariner. Or Odo. Mariner. Oh, sorry, Mariner's not going to do much. Sorry. No, because Mariner is not gonna do anything. Relative. Uh and Odo, I don't need though. I don't need BLT. Odo could be good. Yeah, sure, why not? Because you have mitigation. Well Yeah, I don't have a what, lot. How much mitigation is that? Yeah, let's let's look and see. I because I bet I don't have a ton. Um No, it could be enough. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. Voyager. Uh yeah, no, I'm mitigating a lot. Uh, let's see, 232, 43. So these two thirds. Yeah, it's max. It's 72%. So, or 71.2. Um, so, yeah, let's give so, it a shot. We'll take Tom Paris Odo off. Over, uh, huh? We'll add Odo in Odo. the place of Tom Paris. Although I will commend Tom Paris for, you know, literally being a below deck bed. He's good. He's good. All right. Uh, three minutes. Let's head to a brand new level 53 system. Let's see if it is even possible for me to kill one of these level three, uh, level 53 hostiles. And if it is, how much loot can we get? Will the level 53s sustain a tier six? We shall find out in is three there, minutes. Is there anything that you couldn't reach before that you can reach now with your new warp range? I don't know. Probably, yeah, probably a bunch of stuff. I just with his warp range, there's nothing he can't reach. I um, have the power. Except for the last little leg of the Delta Quadrant space. So everything pre Delta is accessible. Is accessible as long as he's finished his research and stuff. His main mission line. Uh, while I'm doing this, let me look at chat here a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really the exploring type. Yeah. I do some the only way. The only way Voyager could get lost outside the quadrant is if it had the warp range to get out of it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, let's see what we got here. Let me go back. I'm going to scroll back in the chat a little bit. Querity says, I just started and killed a level 50 rare Armada. The PBE chess gave me 170,000 rare credits. Blue, we're going to have to revisit your rare Armada credit sourcing episode. We're going to have to do that here soon. Because, oh, yeah. yeah, this is Just... this is going to change that for a lot of players here in about 20 more days. Um, but I, I, I think the messaging that, that means that it's broken is wrong because how old is the Armada mechanic? Isn't that three years old, four years broken. old? Okay, It's coming soon. Yeah, I don't think it's broken. Trader said that well, earlier. But... Yeah, Trader's still here. Right. Trader, you said it's not broken. You said it's about damn time, right? Repeat that. I'm sorry. We were, ta uh, we were talking. We were talking. Big Armada. We were talking earlier about uh, Voyager. Broken. Yeah, Voyager giving I think it's access. Absolutely deliberate. I think it's absolutely deliberate. They're trying to push people to deeper into deep into G4 to encourage them to increase their ops and allowing them to get to a place where they can mine G4 resources, where they can start the big G4 armadas, which are going to let them be pulling the chests which give them more g4 uh, resources you know etc I, I think that's just part of the loop i think it's 100 percent intentional because every ship that they've rolled out so far has had though or in recent memory anyway has had those warp locks on them sometimes to the point that they needed to increase them because we couldn't get where we needed to go i.e the um uh the Jem'Hadar space but i i think it's intentional they didn't make a mistake. It's intentional. I agree. That's my and opinion. Once your, and once your G4, uh, G6 doesn't look so far away. 
Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. We're in. So here is the level 53 system. Let's spawn one and see what happens. I, I, I kind of like want to just kill that miner. Oh, is there a but. miner in here? <laughs> All right, you know what? Let me let me see how we do with the bio ship first, and then if there's enough left over, we'll take the uh, we'll take the trader. All for right. Science. Yeah. Uh, for science. So here it comes. Here's a 53 with a base. That's actually a higher base too, isn't it? 2754. That is, uh, dude. That's 55 points higher than what we thought the max nice. was. Nice. So that's there's good. This is good data. That's base listed. That data. Yeah. So that's, no, that's no, no. We, we, no. We've been gathering this from people. So here's people a 2754. Uh, let's take out this thing and see if we kill it which we did not i die so now send it back send it back yeah. quick yep, yep, hopefully yep, yep, nobody's yep. stream sniping you yeah we gotta get there gotta get there quick. Yeah, this is, uh, i'm not gonna say this is if we are gonna employ the strategy streaming is not the best time nope nope because somebody's got three minutes to come and take that hostel from me Word um, up. there's an empty base in Uridia. <laughs> go there <laughs> Go there quickly. The good news is we already saw Wardod's warp range uh, on his Voyager. He wouldn't be able to get there. Now, could his Kuvsom Peck get here? 535? Oh, he, he's racing there to get that trader. <laughs> so he can get there. He can get to warp 535 in a... How'd the battle go? Uh, let's, take, details. let's take a look. So... Not bad. I got about 70% of it down. So if you were supported, you may have it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I've done that too. I've Cerrito supported and been able to kill it for three and one Try shot. Try to get a couple trips. Try to get a couple kills per trip. We got our hull breach. Isolytics looked good. Now, if you're willing to go with that nerve wracking, can I make it back in time? You can test the exact same thing, but with Kang instead. We are. We're going to. Orca. And and after that, if I if I can get my server to if I can get my server to, to give me some time here, like if Wardod's not gonna snipe my stuff, I will also try uh Janeway. Because Janeway with the extra isolytic damage. Might have been enough to finish that, Blue. We only went five rounds, so it wasn't the go-home cannon that did it. It was just... It was the size of its shots and the immaturity of my ship. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, what tier is your Because you're, you're, you're technically punching up. Well, let's also check and see. We took Tom Paris off. Let's see what our mitigation looked like this time. Eh, we only lost 2%, but, I mean, we did lose 2%. Nah, 1%. What is it? 71.19, and we went to 70.18. So we did lose 1%. Do you 1%. think that made the difference? I don't think so. I don't think so. I bet it was probably the size of the weapons. Uh, and if we were to come and look at stfc.space, I bet we would find that the, uh, the damage, the DPR, is probably pretty different. Uh, let's oh. see. Hostels. Bio well, ships. Work. No. So, let's see. This was, we were looking at, this is a 53 bio ship. And, uh, let's pull up. Let's pull the up DPR the... DPR is not, is not the best metric. For no, hostiles. no, it's not. But in, in a general, you know, I want to, I want to look at the firing pattern too, which is the same. All right. We look at DPR. It's actually very close to the same. Um, so is it just weapon size? It's. I wish they listed pre round seven, like round seven DPR. Really, the weapon, the weapon shots. You know, yeah, that's what did it. Weapon number four. Yeah, we weapon number four. That three was and four. three and four. That was big. And that's where all those shots. This is why Janeway is probably very good. This well, well, hold on. You're you got a Max Kang. 
How much attack stats did you have? Hang on. Let me get back to my let me get back to my frozen hostile here. Cuz I'm oh, yeah, I'm just going to tell you I didn't deck was. I didn't make a chart for this or anything, but I was doing my own evaluation of this exact problem. Is Kang better than Janeway? And what I found, and we've got very similar research, DJ, so this will be pretty true for us, that you need Janeway tier four or above to beat out a Max Kang. The amount of post mitigation damage that you will increase by having a higher piercing stat will outweigh the isolytic damage that you get from Janeway. Um, until about tier four. I think that is absolutely correct because I mentioned that yesterday as well, Jules. Um, I tried this with a tier one Janeway, and while it was good, it was not better than five Lorca Kang. Like, Janeway was good. For a tier one officer, it hung in there, but it was not better. You know what I'm saying? She ain't loot. Yeah, there's no loot. Exactly. So here's what we pulled. Jules, the base was what did we say? 26 uh, 27.49 was the base loot. We pulled 71.60. Now, let's pretend for a second that we were able to actually do that. Let's say 7,000. Nine times. 63,000. Let's come back to the Voyager refinery table. I'm on the wrong window. Hang on. Two tapping. The Voyager Refinery. Where did I go with it? I lost it. Still going to be slightly short. Even assuming that 7,000 is the number. I would probably pull roughly 63. The refinery is going to call for roughly 67. So let's pull another one. Let's see if we can further explore this min max. Uh, and before I do that, let me let me go home. And we're going to sub out. We're going to sub back in Kang and drop Lorca. I don't know that that's probably a good thing either, but we're, we'll give it a shot. This probably should be pretty the, quick. The very, very stacked attack. Well, not a whole lot of stacking you can do. You only got three spots, and you got to have Hugh. You got to have the Doctor. I could probably throw... the hidden ones? The hidden ones don't contribute to officer abilities. They only contribute hey. to the ship ability. So you got a tier one Janeway, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you'll need a uh, tier three King with 70,000 attack. Let me see if I can find a comparable tier five King. I, I was playing a lot with the mitigation calculator, figuring out what the post mitigation damage would be with King. It's really easy with Janeway to figure out what her post mitigation increase would be. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could I could disco home Eddie, but I figure I might as well get a couple of might as well get a couple so, of uh, relics while I'm here. I, I don't, so as long you know, as you're tier five long. king, as long as you have thirty thousand attack stat, tier five king is going to do much better than a tier one Janeway, and will equal a tier two Janeway. All so right. thirty thousand is nothing. You'll you'll you have that no problem. So let's bring Kang back into play. But we are going to be losing our hull breach. Um, you said that we needed to have how much attack stat? 30,000? Yeah. Well, which were good. Yeah. So let's maybe. So that's that's better than Janeway. Flop. What I don't Ola know is. And, is uh, Odo. That's what I was thinking. But man. Oh, God. That's, that's two critical damage boosts that I'm giving out. But we'll give it a shot. Uh. I mean, what's what tier is Bellana? She's tier three, tier three. Oh, that's what percentage is that? Thirty percent. Not, not very good. Terrible, actually. That's not terrible, but it's not very good. Not for. I mean, you got. You know, we're only going four or five rounds. Yeah, I wish she was cumulative. So, let's go back with this crew now. 
and see what it looks like. I didn't think about Fleet Commander. Um, I don't know that there's anything in here yet that Fleet Commander really would do. I can't think. Or uh, combat stuff, but you're pretty maxed on that. That's only for cloaking. No, I, think, I think the... Uh... PvP. I think the stuff in the Explorer Tree on Kirk is going to beat anything those other guys. Those other yeah, two I, I think so. I mean, you're you're and using I'm... health, and uh, and Kirk has officer health bonus. So uh, yeah, Kirk has that. huge bonuses at like the third uh, row. Technically, that's always on, so you guess you don't need that. Spock has more officer health. Officer health, but like uh, yeah, Kirk but... is like Explorer stuff, like Explorer shield health, Explorer. That's very true. Uh, yeah, so we got Explorer Mitigation on duty. We got Maximum Shields on duty. Yeah, you want that. Uh, we also 200%. have... Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, 200% Maximum Shields and 200% Extra Mitigation. So that's pretty significant. That's Impulse. And that Impulse to beat War Dodd to your hostel. Yeah, that's right. Uh, all right, so... Now we're gonna we've subbed in Kang. We we're running approximately sixty thousand attack stats. We're gonna see if we're gonna use Grush. Which one do we drop? Do we drop Lorca or do we drop Kang? We'll see how it goes. Uh, Gradubicated, thank you for your eleven month subscribe anniversary. He says closing in on a year. Glad to catch you tonight, DJs. Thank you, Gradubicated. Glad that uh, that you're here, buddy. I appreciate it. Alligator Loki, also with the 11-month resub. Appreciate you very much. Blue Devil, following the channel tonight. Thank you. Welcome into the litter box. Uh, Nuge Fireball, thank you for your 11-month resub as well. Appreciate you very much. Royal Derman and Frail Games, also joining the litter box and following tonight. Thank you guys so very much. I appreciate it. Shattered Fox and Stony Dude with the hydrates. I will take those now because it is still freaking hot in here. Ugh. Mimi says this could actually be a case for using Kirk's warp speed rather than impulse if you have to rush back to double tap a bio ship. Very, very valid point. Problem is, I never invested into that one at all. It's level one for me. So I'd have to dump a bunch of skill points in it. I don't know. I don't know that it, well, 215%. Warp speed, that's probably significant, right? Not probably. nothing, but it's like... Eh. On a three you have minute, an XO you can pop. On a three-minute warp, it probably turned it into two and a half or 220. So it'd save you 45 yeah. seconds. I mean, you probably have a 2% Alliance XO you could pop right now. That is 200%. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's well, I've, if you I've probably... Of two -tapping, I've probably got my own, my own XO. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here's the also, 200. Also, people, people are it. warning you to claim your dailies. Did I not do that? A, yeah, I did I did it already. It's missions. It's missions that are over there. Yeah, I did my dailies. I'm good. I don't claim. Oh, I forgot to do my. I for, <laughs> Dude, I forget Titan every day. I literally, I forget the Titan all the freaking time. I almost forget. I forget the Titan literally every day. Yeah. And then I end up just wasting it. I just pop it out of base and I pop one and then I go back into base. Like I just used mine today to come from my pylon against bio, bio ships. All right. So let's go back. All right. Let's summon another bio ship. Let's see what kind of loot we get on this one. Here it is. 2734. So now that's two bio ships that we pulled north of 2700, Jules. So that's yeah, good. I updated the A472 systems chart. Actually, has more updated warp ranges. So I'm, I went in there and or warp updated loot ranges. So I'm going in there and updating the rest of it. Up to 200, uh, 2812 now, I think. I still died. And you know what? Doesn't look like. Doesn't look like it really made a lot of difference. Now, by the way, that that Kirk Fleet Commander, you guys want to look at it? I'm 328 to the system. 
I guess depending on where it puts me in, 326, 312, 318, 313, 320. Call depending three on minutes. You call it, well, I'd say call it 315, depending on where it's going to bring you in. All right? So let's pop the XO. This one, by the way, is a 250% XO. Um, actually, here's a 200%. You want to do a 200% instead of a 250? That'd be a little closer. Whichever one is less important to keep. All right, so 200%. Awesome, great. That is now putting me. Yeah, it's saving me. It's saving me about 25 to 30 seconds. So Can you I don't fix know. that. Yeah, Can that you would be fix that? that would be great. So saving you approximately 30 to 35, maybe 40 seconds. Okay. Just let Scopely know that it would go a long way with the community if they fixed the exo bug and the, pl the officer preset bug. You know what, Blue Crazy Thing? I haven't done that research yet, but I've heard now from more than one person that unlocking the new below deck research is actually fixing that bug. I've had three people, now again, small sample size, but I've had three people tell me that upon unlocking the lower deck below, you know, presets, they're not losing their other presets now. Oh, it's a grindable prime? No, oh, it's not a prime at all. I said it's grindable. <laughs> just, that just meant that it's a premium cost in a way, because of that 5,000. <laughs> Is it 5,000? I haven't looked at it. 5,000 research coins, yeah. That's not that bad. It's the highest one they have so far like your tier your max level warp loop boost is like not even three thousand wow. that's a big one right there that's impressively large yeah that is that is an expensive one but like i said it's not my most important one either i'm gonna go through and do the do the important well, stuff let's just say i shouldn't need a research to fix something that i shouldn't be broken <laughs> I don't think they I don't I don't think it's like a thing that they know like they probably don't know why it's fixed with this like it just it happened it was a happy accident now that I can believe it was a happy accident they don't know why that I can believe I'm with you snipes I'm not going to do that research until I do some of the other more important oh, yeah. stuff high priority to do other things first I think I full bought this. Especially since everything you can do with below deck presets has a sortation literally called below deck ability. Oh, Cyrix so. has asked for FaceTime. Okay. Cyrix, why? I'm sweaty and hot and gross tonight, but all right, whatever. That's why they're asking. They, they just, they like that. They like it in that way. It's gross. Weird. Don't be weird. All right, let's go back. Um, we died last time, so hopefully it's still in here. There it is. All right, so let's kill it. Now, we could have spent that time looking at our battle log. We didn't. Five rounds still. Still went five rounds. We still what mitigated. Was starting health? We still, it would have been full on this. Uh, yeah, it was full. Wasn't it? Yeah. It's full on that. Because you cleaned up the other one, right? No, I killed Herogen and then came back with a new crew. So I was full. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to wanted to do a good good test. So let's come back. Um mitigation still looks fine. Well, we lost so yeah, another my... look, moving Tom Paris dropped me another pro percent we were at 71.2 then we dropped to 70.19 uh, or 70.18 now we're at 69.07 we lost 1.1 percent mitigation by removing tom paris no that was um switching from odo to uh no we took tom odo pa to uh we switched odo okang and lurka the health difference i probably probably that's right. We didn't have Tom Paris up there, did we? We had Odo. Uh, Odo to Belana Torres. So we probably also 
suffered a little bit because we did not have hull breach in round one. Nor did we get hull breach in round two. Nor did we get hull breach in round three. Nor did we get hull breach in round four. We That's the piercing. We finally got hull breach in round five. Piercing. We pierced it at 59%. It mitigated 41%. Now, if we go back to the previous log, let's see how we were piercing it over here. It was mitigating us at 70.06% without Kang. So Kang is absolutely the way to go. What we've got to so, do here, Jules, we've got to get BLT more reliable. We need hull breach. I, my recommendation for you during this loop at this stage would be uh, get that discovery in Cerritos as close as possible. Uh, support the Voyager and try to get as many kills in one trip as possible with yeah. the and, crew. And don't do this when you're streaming. <laughs> Agreed. Well, all right, fine. After the first time. So we're going to, we're going to, that's fine. We won't do any more bio ships. Uh, but I should point out, we did get another 7,100 off of this hostel. So, and, and by the way, earlier we did our math. We did our math based on 7,000. And we were still going to be short about 4,000, right? Is that what we said? 63, max 67. Five of 11. And I do have a max 5 of 11. That's true. Uh, still short. And I'm still a little bit short. So... We are going to have to use at least one cell to grind, aren't we? If we go to tier six. Well, here's my question for you. Is it worth triple chesting the 8472 loot exchange to you personally as a player? Yes. Okay. Then, yeah. Then either you guys stay at tier five or you need to right, maximize to every one. single. I'll, and I'll yep. tell you why. It, it's the warp cells, just like it is for anybody else. Um, the warp cells matter because it increases my odds at finding the rare. Um, and at the end of the day, I do want the rare, okay? I come back over here to, I don't remember where it was, under, where was it? Expected grind? I come back over here and I look at this and I come down. If I'm gonna be an Ops 53, which I am, tier five, well, Tier five well, this might, is be, saying, might be a good spot. I mean, but what, you, what we're saying though. is that tier six, if you can triple pull the A472, you'll be able to max because you'll have the cargo for it because you have the warp cells plus the cargo for it. So that three common plus one rare isn't yeah, perfect for you because you but, can actually punch up a little bit more than your capability. But I'm also, more as, I, as I mentioned yesterday, I am not concerned with doing a double rare. I mean, if it happens, it happens, but I'm not going to be stressing exactly. out about it. I'm not going to be stressed out about it. And why would that be? Let's come back and take a look at this new refinery. And let's look. Are there any tangible differences, Jules, between the Tier 5 and Tier 6 refineries? I guess you could argue that the research particles are significantly better, um, as are the ship parts. Uh, they're double, okay? Okay. But with respect to the artifact shards, look here, guys. With respect to the artifact shards, tier five and six are the freaking same. They don't change at all. So it's not it, true. One gets more expensive. If you, if you're. <laughs> wanting to try to speed that research up a little bit if you've got the opportunity to punch up a little bit i'd say maybe go ahead and try out a tier six as kind of what jules was just saying it's going to give you more ship parts therefore more components uh a faster upgrade faster mark components to be able to probably maybe 
I wonder, Jules, did we look at what is tier um, – can tier six with the Mark Seven warp component, can it get there without Grush? No, the Mark, the Mark Seven component only adds 10 warp, so you're not getting much. So you're not getting there without the level 57 research. Yeah, 55, yeah. yeah. Level 55 yeah. research. So – The ship parts mean a little bit less. Research, I guess, could be could be nice to have that extra extra bump there. But yeah, I'd say tier five, tier six, and you know, I'd said yesterday uh, that I was thinking based on the math that looked to be about tier eight. Uh, I think I am prepared to rescind that back to about tier six, uh, and tier seven's out of the question, right? Tier seven is absolutely out of the question if well, not, I mean, not can't... really tier tier seven you're gonna get two warp cells because you're only gonna be able to double chest that it would be out of the yeah. question you're right it'd be out of the question for say someone at ops 53 and again this is where you know what let me come back to to what you had mentioned over here let's see so you're the saying it does fit well yeah at ops 59 is where you think that you can actually go up to tier eight I'm, I this is the thing though I don't know what an Ops 57 capability is what I assume is that they want to maximize just like you do they yeah. want to maximize their 8472 loot they want to maximize their artifact shard account so I said 57 still stay at tier 5 but this is going to change if somebody has a re has a max 5 has maxed that loot research probably has a higher tier doctor to help out with that loot um you know, is using Grush to push a little bit further. So it it's going to be variable from that. But as you see, just where the costs are, with yeah. these crazy jump in cost, Tier 5 is a sweet spot for a lot of upper G4, G5 players. I think, yeah, I, I think Tier 5 is going to be uh, nice for, for a lot of people. I am probably going to try that Tier 6 just for some of those extra research particles that might be irresponsible but <laughs> how's the commerce exchange at that tier uh i didn't look let me to the right all right so tier five is right here here we go tier five and tier six cerritos parts look nice but I mean, meh. Not too much. Oh, the Franklin. Franklin changes a little bit. Yeah. At the same time. Oof. When's the last time you blew dust off that thing outside of, of a swim? Yeah, event? I don't use the Franklin anymore, so there's uh so there's that. It killed the Franklin and I have no tears. Mimi, um, Kirk, Fleet Command Kirk doesn't have warp range. That's warp speed. No, he also has warp range when no, you get to at, command center 40. 40. Oh. No, Jules, is there enough? Yeah, it's the same as Grush when you maxed, but you, we won't get there at command center 40. Okay, so you, uh, here's a question, Jules. You hit command center 40. What's the next lock with that row? Uh, I mean, we there is a warp chart in there that includes that particular fleet commander skill, so you can look at the warp chart and see where you may be or where the max possible is for your range. Oh, that, that was just a fleet commander question, not really a warp range question. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I don't just, think it's going to probably be enough though. Uh, I think level six. I think you could get to level five, which is only a three percent, because uh, level six is going to be then locked to uh, command center forty-five. Yeah. But he yeah, two point eight percent. It's not. That's not a lot. I mean, it's still a lot when it's five hundred. Well, yeah. Viper Viper range. says mathematically you only need a little over two percent. So truthfully, level two or level three may may do it and allow you to drop Grush. That would be interesting. We'll have to see. Uh, Master Viper says, "Oh, it is enough." 
I, uh, I've got a Tier 5 that can get to that 53 system without Grush and Command Center 40. So that's cool. That's scope cool. Come out. Scope it can come out with below deck warp range. Cough, cough. Well, yeah, I mean, Grush has given I mean, me 598. I only need 535. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, I can see that possibly working there. All right, let's change gears. Let's go. Uh, we're going to start mining now. We're going to go with Max Cargo. Where is it? Let's add those guys, and we're going to bring Mavery over. Let's bring Grush up here just for a second, and we're going to grab Mavery. All right. Now, would I want to run Mavery with Synergy? Eh. Eh. Let's find They're out. Not more than Stun. Let's find out. Ah, Synergy is only 20%. So, yeah, that's a no-go on that. All right, because my stun's going to give me 40%. What about Lon? Oh, of course we're going to add Lon. But we still want to. Where the heck did you go? Sort by health. That's how I get the stun. There he is. All right, so we're going to put that back. We're going to come over here to the below deck abilities. We're going to add Strange New Worlds on. Uh, sure, right there. And uh, I think that's really all that uh, all that's going to benefit us here. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now what I can look and see is that I've got my cargo up to about 389,620. I'm not going to be able to get to the nearest system, which is fine. So we're going to fly in to Fluidic Space Entry Point 247. We're going to do it blind. So whatever. Let's just do it. That sucks. Oh, you beat your goal. With Mimi. 375 max loot. Uh, Mimi, it wouldn't give me enough. This system requires warp 700. That's the next mining system. Uh, and actually, that's a Borg system. The next mining system is all the way over here, uh, the level 60. I uh, right, Jules, am I right on that? We've got the level 52 system. Then there's not another mining system until the level 60 system, right? Yeah. And the, the, the systems are charted out in the chart as well. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. And there are eight, four, seven, two systems. Excuse me, I'm getting tired. Trader, I need you to wake me up. You throw some cookies at me. Wake you up? I'm falling asleep. Throw cookies. I was like Trader's probably asleep. I'm sorry. Like making <laughs> talking math over here. I'm like, <laughs> sorry, I'm nerding out. Sorry, uh, no, it's fine. FaceTime but is it's over. Pretty math. Yeah, sure. FaceTime's over. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, FaceTime's over. DJ wants to take his clothes back off. Yes, it's still hot in here. Uh the fifty four the fifty four system? No, that is a Borg Super Scout system. This system. I those. Yeah, this is a Borg Super Scout system. Uh, let's see. Near. Uh, Are those like complete or incomplete? Those I, systems? I don't think. What do you mean by that? I don't think they're complete. like undeveloped territory. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, it's a good question, but I think that there is a legitimate reason to use those systems, but you need to have a bunch of extra deuterium before you go in there. Yeah, you just go in there, pop a scan, and you get scouts, right? Well, there's a few people that are doing a slightly different method. What they're doing is they're taking in a very strong ship as well as their Voyager, summoning with a Voyager and then killing them with their strong ship, um, which requires yeah. having 200 of the Borg coordinate tokens and, you know, a bunch of deuterium so you can summon a bunch. 
and then they're raking in a lot of faction messages, which is great, and they have a higher probability of getting some of those extra commerce insignias in the loot chest drops. <laughs> so, no good means of opportunity, notes. but I'm just gonna wait and stockpile for now. No rare notes. How sweet. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go. How long is it going to take to fill up 390,000 cargo? We're going to go. Oh, Quarity's going to go start a level 50 epic. Oh, you got it. You'll be fine. You good. Wait, with DJs, they should add like a little 5,000 common node to every system. Just there's like a little reset node. So you can like... Reset well, now, Jules, let me ask you. Taking too much cargo. I still think we've got a problem with this. All right. Oh, absolutely. 100%. These 100%. nodes, th this, to me, this feels like a rare should have spawned but failed. You know what I'm saying? And the only way to no, fix it, it, it spawned. Well, the only way to fix it is to reboot the client. And then no, when you I'd reboot say... the client, when it, when, it, when you reboot the client, it's st there's still no rare. Oh, it's all over the place. It's so everywhere. I think the moment you left it, it spawned a common. But it was just a bugged out empty because I was testing this out earlier. Like it just it just spawned another node. It was just a common. It was a bust, which is the far likeliest outcome of any node flip, which is disappointment. I think you're projecting your wants onto bugs. Yay, bugs. And they're just bugs. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think all you got was a big fat common note out of it. So do you think that that you just zero... So count the notes. Well, count the I, notes. I just did one. Now we're getting ready to do our second. So there's what? Seven nodes in there? One, two. Or eight nodes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten at the moment. Yeah. Ten nodes typically. So the moment. And look, it just broke again. It. Yeah. If it broke, there's going to be eleven. Well, yeah, but there's not 11. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's still 10. The new one doesn't show because this one is still there. And then you got to reboot the daggone app again. And then when we come back up, we're going to see the 10th node in a different location. This is terrible. What happens if instead of leaving the node you after zeroing it you just move to another like clicking mining is the next button you click well we could try it because it's always like you know it sounds stupid but stupid problems often have stupid solutions see there are extra node proc down here so we got two four six eight nine and ten now and unfortunately that was it looks like the last partial all the rest of these are full. So, we're going to start mining common. They're probably not going to be mining many rare. If any. This trip. No, probably not. And that's okay. No, Corellius, with this particular bug, system view and going back in is not solving the problem. Unfortunately. So I, want you, I want you to hit Tiger with a big fat, why, why, why? <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll ask him why, but, I mean, like I said, they indicate that the rare is flipping about as frequently as they want it to. They don't want it to flip, then. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> they said it's rare. Like, it shouldn't be flipping that often. That's what they said. Oh, that's why I grind the hostiles. Because I'm not supposed to. All right, so let's go to another node and click the mine button. Yep, no go. All right, and just to demonstrate to Corellius, we're going to go to the galaxy view and the system view, and then we're going to come back over here. Move another ship. All right, just because I said that. Oh, no, there it is. Yep, still zero. It does not matter. Doesn't change After nothing. you've uh, done something, like, like put a meridian on an ISO node, or on oh, those or nodes there just like move another dock yep nope did still a thing i mean i can go home i can start mining something else if you want yeah that's fine no i just mean like uh sometimes if a ship freezes if i just move another ship 
No, nope, this, this is an entirely new busted system bug. Still, there's the zero note. Like it's just, it's just sloppy. Yeah, probably reset. Yeah, there was probably, you know what, probably a rare node popped that time, and I just. Fell I, up I have noticed it not triggering sometimes. I just don't know what the the non-trigger is. I prefer it just to be fixed. Oh, God. Trader. I'm yeah? Gonna, I'm going to finish this cell and I'm going to bed. I'm sleepy. Yeah, that's a good plan. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy, too. Hey, cool. All right. No rare. But, you know, you again. Just tell, you just tell Scopely I was going to mine some rare, but then I got tired of it. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you. I mean, this is what they said, and this is why I said on the show yesterday, Jules, like, I just don't care. I'll take what I can get, and I'll call it a day. And if I get rare, I get rare, and if not, I don't. But my focus will continue to be on the uh, on the common chest. It just has to be because that is that's where that's where the money is in this entire loop is in the rare is in the uncommon. Sorry, the common chest. Yeah, the rare no, chest if Karkin isn't was, even rare. It's just another common chest. If Karkin was here, he would say, I was going to mine some rare, but then I got high. But then I got high. Oh, Scopely said that they were going to fix it, but they got high too. I thought you could only find rare if you were high. Maybe. <laughs> That's possible. Trader. Um, yeah. It is the 27th of June. Well, it's still the 26th where I am at. Oh, 26th. Okay, so that means it's technically still Monday. I tell you what, Thursday Thursday will be... <laughs> you want to do our last show of the month on Thursday, and that night we will do a, um, a bitty bash. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll do a bitty bash on the 29th. And uh, and we can we can also do some kind of incentive or contest on the subs to try to push towards a couple of extra giveaways. So what I would like to say is let's um Oh, Razless, you redeem bits to back. So this is what we do. I've got a redeem that allows you guys to redeem your free toy mice. But for every redeem, I go and I actually give back 100 kitty bitties, which is an actual monetization thing. So it's actually a way for us to bribe the community manager with actual real dollars. Um, so when I catch her on stream, then um, we always give her like a huge number of bits and she loses her mind and, and does cute dances and all that fun stuff. Salty Medic uh, asked me to change my game avatar and frame. If Salty Medic is still here, I'll let you pick that out. Sorry, I just now saw it. If not, then I'll uh, I'll refund it to you. But if you're here, then I'll let you choose it, and it'll actually uh, it'll get to stay, Trader, because we're getting ready to go off the air, so you'll get to keep it until Thursday. Yeah, if you send back bits, she'll try to get Prodigy back on the air. Yeah, we really need we're yeah, right? I saw a scribbling. I will here point earlier. out I, as I a meant small to... plug that there is a petition in the graphics room, a place yes. a link to a petition to sign. Yes. Let me uh let me pull this up right here. Uh it is a change.org petition to save Prodigy. Looky there. Already seventeen thousand signatures. Unfortunately, it's probably not enough for Paramount to care. Until we get into like the hundreds of thousands, if not millions. But it needs to happen. All right. It absolutely needs to happen. And uh, I, I I know Scribbler was here a little bit ago. She's probably feeling pretty frustrated. But um, I haven't actually read this whole thing yet. Yeah, Trader, in your experience, uh, how much hope does a petition have against a tax write-off? Very against little. the tax write-off. <laughs> no, Trader, yeah. you know that's what they're right, doing, the right? It's literally a tax write-off. Yeah, no, you know that's yeah. what they're doing, right? They're taking oh, yeah. they're taking the cost of production for seasons one and two, 
and by removing <laughs> its revenue generating potential, they're actually using it as a tax write off. They're able to write off the project as a as a bad debt. Yeah, that I know. that is why they're doing it. A racket. And the if the IRS had any spine, they would fight it. Well, you know, that's what happens, though, when you are grossly underfunded and understaffed. You can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Or had any bite, I should say. Yeah. The, the silver lining is that they're paying these artists through the end of this creation, and that is a big benefit versus cutting everyone's contract short. True, Jules, but they're paying everyone to have uh, something they dumped a bunch of time into that no resume looker is going to see. It doesn't feel good as an artist, but if I can still put food on my table, that works. As as a person who works in the entertainment industry, like if you get a paycheck and you finish that contract out and you're ready for your next show, which, which is coming up after this contract is over, at least you're not worried about that last paycheck. I, I don't. Well, what if you, what silver, if you can't get that next really show because no one ever saw you and you never got that attention? Well, I don't know that that's 100% how it works. I, I, I see your point. It meant they're not airing them, so no one's going to see the second season or first season at the moment. Well, I mean, that's a, I, I get it. I, I think what that's Jules the saying, real like canceling the show is one thing, but that the limiting the broadcasting is my big gripe with it. Yeah, but that's the whole reason that it's happening in the first place. I get what Jules is saying. Like, at least they had the decency to to pay their people out through the end of the contract and and but jules on the other hand why do you think they are because they're going to include it in their tax write-off right like why wouldn't they pay those people because it just increases the amount of the write-off that they get so I, i'm fine that they did that i am just i am really disappointed that this was the project that they chose why am i disappointed because i'm a trekkie you know, if it was any other show, I probably wouldn't care as much, but somebody else would. So here's the thing. I am super happy that, that this petition is out there. I will happily sign it. Does it actually mean that they're going to do anything about it? Absolutely not. It's not. Um, the only hope that we have, Jules, tell me if I'm right or wrong. The only hope we have at ever seeing uh prodigy season two is if somebody else buys it and i gotta be honest i was kind of hoping it would be hulu but it's not because they're owned by disney disney's not gonna buy a paramount show who else is there netflix they're flailing in the wind there's nobody else well nbc guess. maybe but peacock is the biggest failure of all of them so i don't see them having the money to do it I, I just don't know where you go with this product. Showtime? Think, uh, oh, wait. <laughs> do what? I think the... Uh, I said showtime. showtime, but that's... Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah that's I, I think, the whole uh, stinking reason for all this, is that stupid merger. They should just... Yeah, just cancel Showtime. It'll be easier. I think they're going to wait until, like, the, the trendiness of the news, like, everyone's attention span forgets it. And it fades away, and then whoever has Nickelodeon is going to try to get it. Nickelodeon has their own. They've got what, right? Don't they have like the Nick Jr. app? Well, like I, when they were showing the, the show, the first top above Prodigy, above Star Trek, Nickelodeon. So I'm imagining that's where the money's going to go. least in sense of like it's good content to broadcast no cold bane i didn't give up playing resurgence as a matter of fact i really actually thought about playing it tonight but i knew that we had i knew that we had some voyager stuff to do and i haven't done as much star trek fleet command this month so um i will play resurgence this week maybe um i don't know I i'll play resurgence one night this week maybe saturday or friday finished it it was fun oh did you finish yeah, yeah, I, th I think I, I will say this. I think you can I probably play it have, again uh, in a different way. Yeah, I know. I know. It's really uh, it's really kind of awesome. So I don't know. I, I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to uh, finishing it out. I think probably one or two more streams and we can get it done. So I do um, like the concept of the playable episode. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is very cool. So uh, we'll check that out and uh, and see what's happening with that. I. Um, 
Yeah. All right. Anywho, those kind those kinds of games can be chugged out. <laughs> yeah. No, they're uh, they're fun. They're fun. All right. Guys, uh, there you go. That's what we've done tonight with the Voyager. Thank you guys for hanging out. I really appreciate all the generosity tonight. You guys were crazy awesome. Uh, thank you so very much. Trader, you uh, you go get some sleep. Thank you for your crazy right. tonight. As a matter of fact, you guys take a look at the leaderboards here. Uh, as we get ready to wrap <laughs> up, Trader has hey, Trader. reclaimed the top spot for both uh, cheering uh, the kitty bitties and the gifted subs, which means as it, be. as it as it. It, all things are well in the world, um, which I will reigning just champ. I'll just kind of she is the reigning champ. Actually, Trader, do you mm. still have that? Do you still have that screenshot from uh, last month? Let me see if I can find it. You guys know. I don't think I do. Yeah. Actually, I have I have bad news. Trader didn't win the cheerleading board last month. Do you remember, Trader? Oh yes, I got sniped. You got sniped. This was uh, this was Wardod's message. He actually had to message me uh, because I acknowledged Trader as the winner, and he said, uh, "Yo, just uh, just kind of curious, just checking who was the uh, the the top contributor for Kitty Bitties last month." And I even told him, "Look, I even said it was Trader." He's like, uh, why don't you check how much you get me down for? So I go back and I look, and <laughs> Trader had 7,500. Wardon apparently came in. Trader, it had to have been in the closing moments of the show because I yeah. literally would have looked at it on, oh, my God, you guys can't see the screen. I'm such an idiot. I'm sorry. I'll bring it back. <laughs> sorry, I was showing all this stuff. So, here was this is a screenshot that I sent to Trader, where Wardod messaged, and and had to like poke and prod me, to see who actually won the Kitty Bitty leaderboard, and uh, and so yeah, Trader finished at seventy five hundred. Wardod somehow at some point came in at seventy five oh one. I said I thought you were in second place. He says awesome, so I did snipe her. Like it actually. He did it on purpose, Trader. Well, He's that's sniping. not surprising. I think there's a window of time between, <laughs> like, you purchasing and the notification going up. And if it's if you do it where the notification comes after your the time limit, then bippity boppity snipe. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. He he pulled it <laughs> off last month. So I might just say, Wardod, this was one of the most legendary snipes it was such a good snipe that nobody even knew it was a snipe until poor wardot had to come back and be like yo i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i actually Isn't won that the that. whole point of a snipe is that nobody knows yeah i guess so uh nobody <laughs> nobody knew nobody sees it coming <laughs> yeah so uh so there you go wardot i'm just throwing it out there buddy just throwing it out there that trader has regained the top spot in both boards just throwing, just throwing it out there if you're looking for an end-of-the-month snipe, okay? Uh, Benny Hill says, are we going to raid out to Brandy? That depends. Is she still playing Star Trek Fleet Command? Ah, uh, she's playing Killer Frequency tonight. Captain Jesse is. Captain Jesse is playing Star Trek Fleet Command, so we could go say hello to him. Uh, besides, we just raided Brandy last week when she was doing Star Trek. You guys, by the way, showered her with love and snuggles and kisses. Uh, it was pretty awesome, so thank you for that. You know what? We've never, uh, we have never raided Red City. Who's Red City? No idea. He's in my also watch category. Oh, is he good? Have we ever? Do we? Do we want to go say hi to Red City? I don't even have Red there's City. There's been some. There's been some issues with him being an AFK streamer. Oh my God! Is that the mm. guy that has the SpongeBob thing? That goes on the on the official website and just says like, okay, I'll be back in ten hours. It did. I don't know. I don't know that much about him, but that's I've been warned. Uh, he, he's, he's not. He's not in there. He's not there. Yeah. Well, don't ever ask for me to raid to him again, like ever. <laughs> I, I. Captain Jesse's on. Captain Jesse is online. I I am on a campaign. I I apologize, Joker, but I am actually on a campaign to get his Twitch channel banned on the STFC website. Who's? 
official Red City King. He he oh. streams with the STFC tag, but then leaves his stream up twenty four hours a day. So he just oh. throw he just throws up a splash page that says, I'll be back later and just leaves it on. Huh. And so he what then, a legend. Yeah, so then he gets on the STFC website. There's no content there, but nobody can remove him because he never ends his stream. Just SpongeBob dancing. It's just SpongeBob dancing. And somehow, somehow, this guy averages. I mean, every time I look at him, he's got 40, 50 people just watching that daggone thing. I, I don't understand. So, well, they're probably, no. you're probably watching it like he's streaming on it. AFK. Well, no, they're watching from the SFC website trying to get their keys, but, you know, right. I guess, I guess so. Here's the deal. I, I don't know him personally. Back. I don't know him personally. He might be the nicest guy in the world, but his his shady streaming practices uh, make me not want to support that in any way, shape, or form. And and I have actually been working to to get his Twitch channel uh, removed from the authorized list on the SDFC website. It, it's not appropriate. It's not fair. It's not it's not professional. It's literally metric hogging and uh, yeah it, it, all yeah that's all i'm gonna say about it he might be a super great guy i don't know but uh, whatever anywho let's go say hey to captain jesse tonight we'll do that trader thank you very much for being here i appreciate you you have yourself You're welcome i appreciate you too have yourself a wonderful night blue and jules thank you as always for stopping by the Twitching Trek Laboratory for a deep dive into the mathematical analysis of the USS Voyager. I appreciate both you guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, guys. That's going to do it. My name is Ultimate DJs. Thank you for watching this episode of Twitching Trek. My name is Ultimate DJs. I'm your friendly neighborhood cat person saying meow for now. Love you, mean it. Let's go say hey to Jesse. Bye, everybody. Bye.